Hello, it's me and the boys and oh, yeah. Jake Varley. Uh-huh. Uh, we're here <laughs> to tell you. Oh, what are you doing, fiddling? Well, that's my. To, that's my. Sorry own. about that. Robert's <laughs> fiddling with my headset here. Uh, <laughs> we're wild. here today to talk to you all about. Glastonbury. Glastonbury. It's been a long time coming on it, boys. It has. And let me tell you, it's a festival and a half, that one. So I'm going to get I, it in I, there. I, I'd say it's not just a festival and a half. I'd say it's two festivals. Well, <laughs> Whoa. It's a bit exaggerated, <laughs> isn't wow. it? Wow. That extra half. That Lovely. Um, so, yeah, shall we uh, get granular on these bad boys? Let's talk about the video first. Yeah. Yeah. The granular it is. is brilliant. So when did we put the video out? Sunday. Two days and one hour ago. Cool. It's fucking great. It's great. It's, it, it's, it's, it's the best you know what, one we've ever done. Calling it a video, of, I think, is... It cheapens it, Yeah, it really does. It's a movie. It I'm so, so pleased with it. From start to finish, there's good content. Normally with yeah. our vids, maybe I'm being too critical, but... Maybe did it for It's certainly like taper off a yeah. little bit towards the end because it's kind of, we do everything straight away. Mm-hmm. With this one, there was stuff even down to the last like two minutes where we're getting the flag out. Yeah. Each Each chapter has something happening in it. Chapters are great. It's like it's like when um you know when you're at home and you put a DVD and it's like you exactly skip that. to a chapter. Yeah. I'm I'm so proud of it and it's received so much love. Um, it's done great numbers, mm-hmm. our best numbers ever in the two days and one hour that's been out. I'm pretty sure that's starting to level out now. Yeah. I don't think it'll be like a big big video. No, no it'll it's be, not going to be a first quarter challenge size. No, but it'll be like a top five video of ours. That's all good. Which. I'm very happy with, especially considering it wasn't that expensive. Not really, no, when you think. Right. Compared to like a lot of other festivals that we've done. Yeah, it was like it, three times cheaper than when we were young. Yeah. It was like five times cheaper than when you went to better. watch 1975. It was five times better than when we were young as well. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Uh, people have shown so much love on it. Mm-hmm. I've had text me- I don't get many, many text messages, oh. unless it's from, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course. But um, I've had text messages from people I used to work with yeah. and people I don't really speak to that often saying it's Ryan great you vid. On? Huh? Ryan sent you one? No, he hasn't actually, oh, but I know it. I know but you know what? He's a good guy. He's a busy guy. He's a top boy. He's Ryan. Sorry, um, out, Ryan. <laughs> all the Ryans listening. Like, are they talking about me? <laughs> Which Ryan is it? Um, or oh, if you're yeah. Ryan, message Rob now. And Just then <laughs> the other thing was like, we, we normally, whenever we put a video out, people are always like, oh, you should have done this, you should have yeah. done that. And there is some stuff that we missed, but... But there's gone it was inevitable. It's, yeah, it's inevitable. Like, like, so, stuff. But the, the TPD people are like, this is a brilliant TPD video. And then the people who don't know who we are were Glasto diehards. Mm-hmm. They love it as well. They're like, yeah. you did a great job of capturing it. They and were. it's just a, a, a the, testament to the to the hard work that was put in by everyone. The so, well people done, everyone. in the um, Reddit like it. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Great. So, so say yeah. I use Reddit all the time. I very rarely got on that. I should yeah, be I, I Reddit confuses me so much. Yeah, that's because you weren't born with forums. You mean the yeah, people yeah. on the Glastonbury Reddit? Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, I thought you meant ours. No, no, in the, in the Glastonbury Oh, oh I never I'm, use Glastonbury. I'm, I'm never I don't ever out. use, like, never individual festivals. It's, it's just people telling the stories. Yeah, and that's what I don't want to hear. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have done it justice to that audience. That was the yeah. audience that I didn't think we'd please. Mm. Oh, oh you should have done this. You should have done that. And it's got, like, a 99.9% no, they, they approval They were very, very... We smashed it. We did. We good. smashed it, good boys. Work, boys. Well done. Good work. Good work. A great, everyone. a great piece of content. And thanks to everyone who's bought the t-shirt. It's probably yes. not on sale by the time this no, comes out. Be, but sadly. thanks so much for supporting. We didn't do it with a sponsor, and and that was deliberate. And wait, this comes out tomorrow. You know? Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. Yeah. Brilliant. So great you've work. still got until Sunday, the 9th of July, to grab a t-shirt. Uh, if you're listening or watching this after that time, though. You shit out of luck. Yeah. Should have got no, here earlier. Unfortunately. But, but um, we, the extended cut, I say extended, there's a, not here to just plug things, but it has been a great response. And mm-hmm. we've got loads of new Patreons because I'm going to, vi- I'm going to plug the t-shirt, tpd.tv. Is that our yeah. website? That's that the is, website. That's the website. Great, go on there, buy a t-shirt before the date that Jake you, said, Sunday at 9th. If you want to go on Patreon as well and see some extended cuts the, and all other stuff. So yeah. many people joined the Patreon uh, when I uploaded, because I upload the glass, I upload every video in like it's, it's kind of extended format before yeah. I've done, it's called first pass edit. And that goes up like every week, like almost mm-hmm. a week before the actual main video. Yeah. So when mm. I did that for Glasto, we must've got like 200 new patrons, which, that is mad. you know, it really helps us offset the costs of this stuff. And, and we really appreciate it. And then yesterday I put up what's called like the dark side. That's the kind of new name for the B sides, I suppose. Mm-hmm. And um, it's an hour and 20 minutes um, of just a hundred percent new footage, content, yeah. and that's going to be 
maybe on the main channel like the end of the year yeah. or like if we can't get Glassdoor tickets next year like <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just put, put it out for as, next the, year. as the next year video <laughs> I but, like that idea yeah just thanks for the love and support it feels great in this whirlwind year it, it really it's very validating as it, it doesn't seem like a lot of hard work which is testament to the hard work being done right yeah. but um it really is a lot of work and fuck does this thing work? You know you, so I much can't appreciated. What are you on about? I can't you, always, this, you always have that. A, you always have a go at us for like making a noise. Well, while, while he's fucking about, I'll, I get to do whatever I want in this podcast. If I want to, so we've got <laughs> do things. I'll do them. We, All right, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to two hundred thousand views <laughs> on it today. So yeah, oh, you got the graphic ready. I'm sure you do. Um, which mad. is mad in two days. Like someone commented, like I remember when you uploaded a day in the life bike times three point <laughs> and it got a thousand views in a, in a week, and you were so happy with it. And and I still would be happy with yeah. that. Um, yeah, I mean, I absolutely wouldn't now. But like, if we'd have never got to this point, I think we'd have been do happy bike times three point We've done it. There's five, mate. There's oh, five six, let's do six point oh then. No, Jesus. You need to fix your bike. That's in the hallway before <laughs> you we do that. Buy a bike. I've got a bike. Do you know what, what? my bike's pretty good, but it's missing some key components. What's it? Key it's components. missing Listen, your four mom, stunt pegs. Your mum is not missing any stunt pegs. Listen, someone has nabbed my stunt pegs. Well, All right, Daniel. Stop twiddling with this. I can do whatever I want with that, mate, because I fucking bought the fucker. Uh, I and I got a refund for it. You'll find the channel <laughs> No, listen to the story. Yeah, the channel No, he told this story at the weekend. I transacted this road. But did it come out of your pocket money? Well, if you listen, listen to the story again, which we already heard this weekend, it yeah. actually, it so didn't come out of my pocket money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, Thank you. That this is the story. I'll keep it quick. I bought this roadcaster when I was setting up the podcast and I was buying all the bits and there was a delivery issue. So they basically refunded me and sent me another one. But so one didn't arrive. They refunded me and sent me another one. So I had the roadcaster and the money, mm -hmm. uh, which is like 600 quid. Mm -hmm. And then I spent the 600 quid because I didn't even know it went back into my bank. And then a year later, they're like, can we have that money back? I and mean, I just uh, was like, well, uh, how are you? Sorry, how do you, you're breaking how, up. How do you not know 600 quid's gone back in your bank account? If I saw 600 quid just land, I'd be like, oh, Lord. It's just through, where where was it? I think it was in the channel bank. Mm. Oh, it wasn't even the channel bank at that time. It was like the Metro pot that was before like, we even had a yeah, proper yeah. thing set up. Yeah. Um, so it just got like everything just consumed used to go to you, out, kind of, out of that. Yeah. That's why we don't do it like that anymore. <laughs> we work like a proper business now. Not quite, but we just... Proper business that used to spend loads on Nando's. <laughs> we're, still, we're still figuring that out. Come to me. Uh, right. Shall we get into the festival? Do you know what, what was annoying down? as well? I guess I not. literally, right? I've been slaving away, of course, passionate about mm -hmm. it, but like literally like 12 plus hours a day lately i've been working on these vids and raz sends me a message stop buying fucking coffee on yeah, the yeah that was card. bad that mate Six quid. are you kidding not only am i fucking like if you're on it like i bought a fucking coffee and raz yeah. has the audacity to fucking challenge me for three quid and it wasn't even for me it was for bridey that i bought it for because bridey i met up with bridey for a chat and obviously i was I was really upset about that actually, and that, and I yeah. think I made that clear. And yeah, then he tell. then he made, immediately was like, "Do you know what? You're right." But fuck you, Raz, so you dumb. dickhead. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not everyone, everyone leave a comment. Saying, <laughs> fuck you, Raz. Literally two hundred extra patreons in the last <laughs> in one day. And, and he's I can't, buy, can't buy myself quid. a fucking coffee, Raz. You dickhead. Well, he's supposed to be frugal with is it frugal or frivolous yeah it's not i am frivolous. You need and to that's why frivolous. i ha use the that. fucking it's both frugal and I frugal is, no, the, is the it's word not frivolous because frivolous has been like yeah, yeah willy-nilly yeah frugal anyway carry on right into the fucking festival well actually <laughs> shut up you <laughs> no i think before that we need to talk about getting the tickets yeah because it's been such a long time coming for us trying to get to glastonbury like we've tried i remember trying when we were at East Point. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. where the pictures are taken. On our tickets yeah, now. It is. Yes. The pictures that yeah. they print on the tickets were taken. In so our I remember spot. I remember being in bed and trying to get home and no luck. And like ever since then, we tried every year. No luck. But this year, we, we did it. We did it, baby. We're all sat here. We got up nice and early, didn't we? Just, I have no idea, mate. I, I, don't, I, I don't either. But, but Razzy seemed to think we got up early to do it. So I'm just going with that. Um, Stop watching yourself. And and yeah, Razzy got through, didn't he? I don't know. I guess so. Razzy got get, through. I thought you did as well. That's why they went to your house. No, I I paid for them. Um, uh, right. Baller. Oh, well, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, cause if I remember, here's a little uh, Easter egg for you all. When we got oh. home, we all put a little emoji on our Twitter, 
And it's just of a different yeah, face. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did didn't we? No, no one knew that. what that meant. Nah, someone, some people did shit. I didn't because I don't have Twitter. Yeah. Because it's for insufferable people. That's weird because I've just put up something up about you the other day and you had a lot of nice comments about you. Yeah, don't mean I have Twitter. Okay, everyone will say nice things about you though. That's I've okay. just spilled some water on broadcast. You're a dickhead. <laughs> Luckily it's on slidey things so it probably won't damage them. But yeah, we got the tickets. It, it was all good. And yeah. Cool story. Thanks. Right, can we get into the fucking festival <laughs> We please? tried to go last year. Nope. Yeah, we did. Everyone's been saying <laughs> go to Glastonbury. And we said, I, I say this in the intro to the vid. But it's like, yeah, we know. We have been trying. Mm. Like, for years, yeah. we've been trying. <laughs> Literal years. People, um, you know, a bunch of guys that go to festivals. You ever thought about going to Glastonbury? No, I never thought about it. No, no, Obviously, we thought out. about it. But I'm glad that we did it now and not before, because we yes. couldn't have done it as well. I agree. Anyway, carry on with the whatever you want to get uh, to. Are we that. good? Yeah. Whatever I want to get to. You know, the main reason people are here to hear what went down. At yeah, Glastonbury. and that's exactly what went we down. Granular. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not the festival. You haven't even got into the festival. Can't no, yeah, granular. So that's we granular. Talk, yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's just chatting a lot of squannies before. We should talk about how we got the tickets. I'm more interested in talking about like behind the scenes yeah, stuff I as agree. opposed to just talking about everything, everything I've everything just already seen. Because I've just spent but you like, don't listen to these. 36 hours in Final Cut Pro. I'd rather talk about like the stuff that's not mm. just. I've already been looking at for the last week. Here's the week. thing. If you want to hear about the stuff that you haven't seen, put press like. If you want to hear about the stuff that don't, we have that we, you have seen, put a comment. Listen, you don't if you, you, you want to if you want to see stuff you've not seen, join the Patreon. <laughs> Do that one, but not what Jake said. Jake chat squinies. We're not having that. Um yeah, let's get into the festival. So it was a lovely Wednesday that we set off on it. Yes. Right and early, it? was it? Uh did we set off at maybe seven? It was, yeah, it was fair, yeah. Well, yeah. well, we thought right that we set off too late. Yeah. So we were saying to each other because we someone had told us like if you're not there for like four a.m., there's no point in coming until like past two p.m. Yeah. Or so, a, something stupid like that. They say like the traffic's mad. There's everyone's trying to get in. Like it's just ridiculous. There's nowhere to come. Yeah. So we didn't leave until about seven, maybe eight. And guess um, what? It was fine. It was so it was I guess, just fine. I guess that just validates what they were saying, though, because if they said, because they did say, if you're not there at 4 a.m., don't get there till 2 a.m., yeah. 2 p.m. And we got there at about 2 p.m. No, we didn't. No. Yeah, we did. No, we, no, we got there at 12. Yeah, we got there mm. about 12. Shall we check? Yeah. Oh, yes, we shall. Right. You, all right. Let's wait, let's, yep. let's wait for him to put his phone down and say nothing, yeah, because I know was, we got there yeah, it was somewhere 12. between 12 and 1. Yeah. Let's have it. Oh, so it's already been extended from twelve to one. Well, it was wasn't no, it two? Not, I know not that. Two already between, been extended. Between. So let me just have a gander here. He's got a have a gander. lot yeah, of gonna. content. Where's this? The Greenpeace thing. Yeah. Let's let's go. Go. Oh, this is an issue. Like with, I've now found on my phone. It's dead hard to um, decipher between what festivals we're at just yeah. by scrolling <laughs> because mm. it, they all look similar. They're all like either dark or light, and loads of lights, loads <laughs> of color. The <laughs> dark and, or Light. <laughs> yep. like, well, do you, do you go hot at night? And yeah, day, yeah, you're right. There you right. go. Would you say me getting out of the van is us getting there? Uh, depends on the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Ten past two. No uh, way. Excuse me, Let's. Uh, w- at what point getting out of the van? <laughs> Pulling up into the parking space. Are you sure? Let's see what's before. Ten past two. God, Russ I getting out of the I van. Because that, that, yeah. could, that could be the second Trust collection. Trust me. Well, why would we be in the driver's seat of the van, sticking the parking thing on the thing? Wow, I was so certain da, it wasn't da, da, da. that late. Well, yeah, so yeah. unfortunately, you were both wrong. Maybe, well, maybe that was Rock Virtue. Maybe. Well, either way, like, it was getting in was so easy for us. Yeah, literally. Like, not like, a problem at all. Like, everyone, we Rock Virtue was, was also two. <laughs> and <laughs> Shut up. if you want me to prove you wrong there, I'll happily do just <laughs> if that. If it shuts you up, do it. Thank you. I, I don't care about Rock Watching that. We'll find out yeah. about that one in two weeks' time. Yeah, yeah when the video comes out. Uh, stay tuned. So we got there uh, somewhere between 12 and that, 2. That'll show them. <laughs> that'll tell them. I was that. just going to tune out. <laughs> so yeah, we got there somewhere between 12 and 2. Nope. Um, uh, dead dead two. easy. Very little traffic. While we were driving, though, there was signs that were saying, like, no drop-offs. And if you are caught dropping off, there's, like, a £100 charge or something like that. £100 fine. Mm. Which is mad. I've never seen that at a festival before. Yeah, but it's only £100 if you get caught. I mean... There's a lot of police have, there. Yeah, and yeah. what if they have cameras? And then people who are just going to grass on you. And then you just need to like piece. shake your head constantly so they can't get a clear photo of you. Fair. You know, good idea that. Thanks. What about the license plate of the van? Wiggle the car. 
Ah, wiggle the car. Eh? Get a James Bond car. We needed to make a good entrance to the festival at an on-brand one, so we set up the shot <laughs> yeah. of all the Disarano bottles falling out because it's such a like clean and like Leave No Trace festival. I wanted to be the first shot of us on site, the van door opening, <laughs> and just loads of bottles God, falling that out. That was so hard so that was, to yeah. try and decanter all those Disarano. Yeah. I didn't have a Literally single Oh issue. my God, me and Bridie just couldn't. Well, seem to get Bride has got pig's tits for fingers, and <laughs> and you're just a gimp. I had no issues. With these bad boys. Yeah, yeah but you were doing is. the easy drinks with the bigger bottles. I the bigger bottles. Job, mate. I, I, how was it a bigger bottle when it's a Disarano? We did have two into a, sizes. Yeah, there was into a two liter bottle. No, because of the one liter ones, and there was the seventy. We need to sure, get some. Surely the smaller bottles would have been easier because the, the hole's going to be smaller. Look, I can't. And it's going to go in. I he can't. was doing a vodka, with a one and a half litre vodka. Yeah. I was doing the dizzies. But still, so you, it's still useless. Yeah, he is. It, it still still failed where yeah. I succeeded. I had no spillage, well, not well, a I mean, single drop. I mean, I technically didn't fail. Like, Did you have vodka on your jeans, <laughs> yes or no? There was. No, I didn't. Shortly after decanting. I, I did not have vodka on my jeans. Do you know why? Because I wasn't wearing jeans. Now, you said you didn't fail. Shortly after decanting, <laughs> I, there was something that some people would possibly call a fail. I don't think there was. Was there not? Not after decanting. So No, yeah, you're right. It was. wasn't after decanting. Yes, it was. Is it can? No, it wasn't. What, was it not? No, because I went to the boots to get the bottles <laughs> yeah, he did. to decant. Shit, he you did as well. <laughs> you got the order so wrong. So we well, still failed. We, st we we got held in a bit of traffic because a car had literally gone under a, crashed into like a wagon thing. Had gone under or crashed into? Well, it crashed into Stop it. Line. But, no, it crashed into it, but it'd gone under, if that makes sense. Like, I, did, I don't think it went under because it was behind it. Did you I not see it the front? It was like if, into a, the back. if a Lamborghini Countach crashed into like a fire engine, it was kind of... Yeah. Into an under. Yeah. So it was more like a Ford K into a bin lorry. Mm. Than it's a also called a car. I, don't, I hate when people call it K A. It's well, never KA called that. sounds it was nice. Never marketed it. as that. But a car it's not, sounds it's awful. It's not two capital letters in the branding. It's a car. Yeah, but a right. car sounds awful. Yeah, but it is a shit car. Yeah. No, but it is a car. Shit car. It's a car. It's a shit car, that man. Anyway, less about the accident. So we'd pulled up at the accident and. Um, <laughs> Less about that. We thought we were going to have to stay there for a little while because the traffic wasn't moving. So Rob quickly jumped out to get the uh, bottles out the back, opened up the boot, and then the policeman just waved us through. Yeah. So we had to slam the door closed. Rob <laughs> slammed the boot sh shut, <laughs> and, and we drove off. Us. <laughs> <laughs> and then 10 minutes later, we see him walking down the street. Probably not 10 minutes. He's, he was going to say something about that. Um, <laughs> you want to get granular? <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, very silly of you to jump out at the time we were yeah, setting off. I know. So. I mean, really, we shouldn't have just jetted off the second the cop was like. No. I mean, it was funny. the car in front had left. Yeah, I know. And you'd only just opened up the boot. I was doing the Lord's work. Yeah, blame Raz. Yeah, he's not here. I mean, yeah, of course I blame Raz. RMB, your choice. Raz was driving, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was. So. Got to Glasgow, mm -hmm. somewhere between 12 and 2. No, nope. um, we got there at 10 past 2, nine minutes past to be specific. So somewhere between 12 and 1. Um, got out, nice little walk to Orange, was it? Nothing nice about it. Orange? It? That, oh no, Orange was our car park. It was, was we were in oh, Orange car sorry. park. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. so... Orange car park. So we, we, we entered via D gate, which was on the, the west. The Jamaican gate. Uh, <laughs> D gate. -gate um, which was on like the, the west side. <laughs> Look at him, he has to do it with his fingers. Like, just Can't even throw, throw up a west, west, west side. Coast, yeah, that's coming. Terrible. <laughs> You've still got it done now, waiting for yeah, just another in, one. Just in case, I'm going to bring it up again, all right? <laughs> west Coast gang sign <laughs> prepped. God. You'd never make it in the bloods. No. You, do you know you, what? Fine. You know what? <laughs> no you wouldn't problem. have enjoyed that day in Compton. Yeah. <laughs> when we drove around in quite possibly the gayest car in the world. Literally the, the most popular car yeah. most homosexuals in the United States of America. I've just watched the uh, Colombian Grand Tour. Where oh, is Clarks it new? No, I, it don't think, I don't think it's new. Um, but Clarkson had one. Did he? Yeah. Unlikely that he had one, but... I'm, is it, I'm sure it's new. No, because it's where the meme comes from of like... I uh, like this. No, it's where he throws, that's, no, that's throws the rock through the window. James oh, window is it? Hits his oh, head, yeah. yeah. Is that Grand Tour for that top of you? No, that's Grand Tour. God, it's good, isn't it? It yeah. is good. Uh, is there a new one out? I think it might have just come out. Really? Yeah. God, it's... Grand Tour is so good. It is. Because it's just like all the point. good fucking specials from Top Gear. It's fucking Yeah, that's man. that's the best part of Top yeah, Gear in my absolutely opinion. Absolutely brilliant. Like, don't get me wrong, I love learning about the cars and stuff, but sometimes they put on a shit car and I'm not asked. Yeah. So what are you doing? <laughs> what are you looking at? 
pay attention to the cameras. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, back to the festival. So we, got, so we got to the festival, right? And there's a big thing about the getting into Glastonbury. It's meant to be one of the most secure secure festivals in the world. It's got the, what's they called? The Grey Wall? The Great Wall. Great, no, what's the wall? It's, the wall's got a name, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. I can't it's think what it's called. Wall. But it's, it's, it's like known as like, you've not been able to get in, basically. Yeah, like people have done videos on like trying to break in. Yeah. I mean, do you know what's weird? I saw a poster um, the other day about of like advertising Glastonbury. Like, super fence. Super fence, that's it. And it's like, um, get you know get tickets to Glastonbury in 1983 or something like that. And it was like on the door prices. So like just being able to go there and like get yeah, a ticket on mad, the door was just like, what a weird concept that is. That is mad. Um, but so basically what you have to do is your ticket can't be resold. It can't be resold to anyone else. That is your ticket. If you can't go, you shit out yeah, a little bit. Such yeah. bollocks. Because your ticket has... Well, be careful with them. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I've been wanting. So the about. ticket no, has um, your picture on it. It's got your address on it. It's got loads of like personal details on it that show that you're that person. So when you get there, they look at it, they make sure that you're that person. And yeah, that's kind of your ticket. But whereas anywhere else, you just think, well, that's it now. I don't need that. You need to keep hold of your ticket because if you want to then leave the site to go to the car or anything like that, you need to take your ticket with you because then there's like a three authorization to get back in. You need your wristband, you need your ticket, and then you also need a pass pass out mm-hmm. yeah they give you a little slip little slip of paper to say like you've left the festival you need to hand this back in when you come back in it is mad like that's yeah. so much effort just, it is mad i mean i have just watched a video of a guy sneaking in this year but how did he do it so it wasn't made very clear i'd like a, to try that next it was year, a tiktok a ticket it, right, was, it, 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 it worked seemed, for him. yeah it seemed i feel like a lot was missed out but it was it's like a it's a guy that does like van life TikToks mm. and he basically hitched hiked loads of different rides. Apparently he had some form of in apparently we had to go to like different sites and different sides. And then he was in the back of a truck at one point mm. and he wasn't really made very clear of how he got in, but people do sneak in. We met a lad who paid someone to sneak in. Yeah. Yeah. Like slapped 400 big ones to a bloke and was just like, can you let me in? He's like, there you go. Well, which is yeah. almost like just face value anyway. Yeah, do you know yeah. what? 400 quid's a pretty good deal, really, when you think about it. Is that not fair? Um, it's just a bit more expensive, isn't it? Yeah, so tickets three, three, five. But so. then you've got like probably a booking fee on that as well. It's probably about it's probably about 55 yeah. quid more than what you'd pay for if you needed to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. You but just yeah. can't leave, that's all. But it's fine. Why would yeah. you ever want to leave? Unless you're getting stuff from car. Yeah. But just take it all in one trip. Yeah. You um, would build that into your plan, wouldn't yeah, you, you? If would. you'd snuck in, you yeah. wouldn't be like, right, I'm going to try and sneak in again now with my stuff <laughs> from the car. You can't that be dumb, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, all all your really stuff's in, uh, in your account. <laughs> Pay 800 <laughs> quid in the end. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be stupid. Um, so we got in. Um, we just pretty much camped in the first place possible, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as you can imagine, it was busy. Yeah. It was very busy, and <gasps> there was just a spot. And yeah. we're like... We, we had a... Yeah, we had a, a thing. So, like, we... Some of the, we go to a lot of festivals that we've ne- that we've been to before, and they're my least favorite ones. I'd rather go to like a why not festival than go to Coachella again. Yes, because I'm bored of doing the same <laughs> I mean, stuff. Maybe not. Coachella. What? No, I, I honestly, what a, what a, what I honestly, a, um, I honestly would. Be. I honestly would. I promise you, mm. I really would. I'd love I'm to. I'm so not? sick of doing the same old things. Yeah, I agree. So Glasto, we were like, right, this is a big one. We need to. And I guess the idea subconsciously that I was trying to push is let's not create a camp that's too comfortable where yeah. everyone's just sat on their ass doing no yeah. and the yeah. video's not good. So we stayed in the first place that would physically fit our tents. Yeah. For me, it was like it was the point of we're gonna be walking all day anyway. Yeah. So do we need to have something slap bang in the middle? Mm-hmm. Nah. We might as well just Take somewhere comfy, a bit quieter, a bit easier. Yeah, and there was a couple of times where, like, you'd you'd thought, like, oh, I wish this was a little bigger. Yeah, I wish we had a bit more space. Yeah, but none really where it was an issue for me. At Not, least, yeah. No. Do you know what? At the time, it was maybe slightly annoying. But the more I think about we it, we were now, next to the toilets. Yeah, we were close to a water point. Yeah, there was breakfast like two minutes walk what? up I'd the say, road. I'd say that spot was pretty good. You know, the only issue I really had was maybe. It the was lack like of water points. No, it was maybe like five in the morning. It just did get a bit too loud. Yeah, it was like trucks emptying out the fucking 
toilets and stuff. A lot of people walking around at that time. And certainly where I was camped, because my head was like on the back of the path. I heard a lot of it. Yeah. Um, that was kind of my only real concern about it. But other than that, it was fine. Like yeah. it was so I tell you convenient. what, those toilets were good, weren't they? The compostable ones. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the nice toilets. Then. Same um, as that not all of them. Are they? Yeah, they're, yeah, they were. So the toilets um, at Glasgow, they have long drops around the site. But in the camp, we had, like, it was basically a wheelie bin um, with a makeshift bench over at top. And you sit on that and shit in wheelie It's nicer bin. than it sounds. It is nicer <laughs> than it sounds. I do, I do it in injustice. Um, but you have to take some sawdust in with you because there's no water for it. And the sawdust is to cover up your poo and pee. And it really does help Did get rid of the smell. And it, it's like, it's so much better than just having a toilet full of shit just airing out. Did Leeds Fest ever have sawdust? I no, don't think it did, no, did no, it? No. Then that would get set on fire. That's so not quick. for like long drops. Oh yeah, you're right. This yeah, is compost. Yeah, right. So the yeah, idea is right. to create a manure out of it, yeah, and it's like the you create layers of like human cack, and then sawdust, and then cack, and then you there's piss going into it, and like the magnesium or something in the piss, like helps create the right kind of bacteria that you need in like a manure. As you can tell, I was reading the poster on the back of the door for quite some time. <laughs> what, what do they do with all the baby wipes, the toilet roll, and the sick? Well, the idea is... Well, it, technically, all that's compost- yeah. uh, com- compostable. Baby wipes, it? A, a, yeah, Apart from baby wipes. Well, that's why this, this, they kind of say now, don't use baby wipes. They didn't wipes. expect me in there wiping my ass on Wilco's uh, furniture wipes, though, did they? Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. You have the worst ass wiping stories ever. No, you so, would. No, you listen, won't. I would admit to doing that. You were and probably using it, furniture I've polish. Done, I've done that before at home, but I didn't do it at Gloucester. I used, um, what did I use? Right, the, the baby wipes from the co-op. Yeah. yeah, which I think they are biodegradable. They must be if they're yeah. sold at the co-op at Glastonbury. Yeah. Even the crisps, like special crisps. No, in I, fucking, I wasn't a fan of those crisps. I've still got two, I've got a yeah. s- snack drawer now, and I've yeah. still got two bags of that. They're I, right. um, okay. I ate through those um, tomato lays yesterday. Yeah, I, I left my chili and lime peanuts in Razzie's van. You did. Very soon. I will make sure they're. Uh, yeah, we'll, brought, we'll look at. We'll, 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 we'll look after them tomorrow. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> speaking of the co-op, as we've just mentioned it, it's a good point to note. They don't sell booze in there. No. So, well, it's a good point to make the reason why they don't sell booze. In yeah, there. yeah. I was getting there until you rudely interrupted. Let's carry, on. Well, carry on. So they um they don't sell booze in the co-op and it's to help out the vendors and the bars and stuff like that because you're allowed to just take your drinks all around the site. There's no like transition between campsite and arena. So you can literally just like have a rucksack full of cans like we did and just walk everywhere with them, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. But that stops you being able to buy them at co-op, which makes you packing up and taking it into the festival a little bit harder. So I don't know which I prefer. Oh, I think I really actually liked how it worked. Yeah, works I did as well. Because, I had no issue with that at all. Because we, because we had the rucksack, we were all taking turns on the rucksack. Yeah, and we had like sixteen drinks in there. Mm-hmm. I think it was just a, it was just perfectly executed. Yeah, my agree. Yeah. Um, no one had an issue carrying bag. No. no. So with a bag, um, I don't know if you've made this no not video because I haven't watched it. I haven't had a chance. Um, yeah, you. you we're waiting for that view to come in. Been busy. Yeah, I've got lights as I've well seen, as seen. Uh, it is on the bag. Yeah, I mean on the. Oh, on the is vid. it? Yeah. But yeah, we it. um we transitioned it every fifteen minutes between mm-hmm. the next person. But it's on the person who transitions it, who's carrying it to regulate their fifteen but minutes. You know if you I, go over, that's your fault. I think we all did really well. Of the not, first like one or two, it was like fifteen I, minutes yeah. to the next person. But actually, yeah. then it, after then that, it, it was up. like, oh, do you know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll hold it a bit longer because it truly wasn't an issue. No, once it gets a little bit lighter after people have had a few drinks, it's fine. Yeah, there's no issue. Even from there. the start, even being the first person, it wasn't yeah. really and a problem. Do you know what? Going to um, two thousand trees tomorrow, mm. which is set up in the same way with no might be a game. good idea. To it do might it be worth us taking yeah. that bag again with the Hermes air tag on it as well. Yeah. Really so nice. People's got to really that see. sprinkle that one in there. Yeah, well, you know, it, people got to know. It didn't get it for no reason. Man. No, you got it because it was on te- a massive sale. Technically, it's two Hermes air tags in one. What was it? Seventy percent off. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so it, only it doesn't cost, matter though. Only cost a hundred pounds each. Jeez. Lord Almighty, that's mm. far too much. <sighs> got to treat yourself sometimes. Yeah, gosh, not to that one. You've already got an air tag. Yeah, but an Hermes one air tag. I think this conversation. It can. It can. It can, it can extra find you now. Yeah. True. Well, he can't. It's on his keys. Oh yeah. Also, air tags don't. He can extra find himself. You find them. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, back to the festival. Speaking so, of the co-op, great. Just went to the co-op downstairs. Yeah. Guy goes, "You were drunk at Glastonbury, <laughs> weren't you?" <laughs> was, it, was it our uh, old? Was, boy? Appar- yeah, apparently, yeah, it that was, has a name. Like 
being that type of drunk at Glastonbury is called like no bed. Oh no, because apparently like, there's a night that everyone at Glastonbury gets that kind of fucked. I can't remember what it's called. It was so. It was just a. It was just. I'm giving. I'm just giving myself credit here for getting hammered. <laughs> but like, it was so. Everything about making this vid was just done so well yeah. by everyone involved. And like, I I remember thinking like, tonight's the last night I can get hammered. Mm -hmm. Everyone loved on the download vid in 2018 when I was paralytic. God, that was I was man. like, this is a really safe place here. I feel safe. I've got all my mates here. Everyone else is nice. I know I'm not going to die. Mm. And I was just like, I'm just going to be really unsensible and drink this vodka. Yeah. And yeah. it just, and it worked because we got some great footage. Do you I know got what is the most mental thing about that entire situation is? What? How not hungover you were the next morning? I was pretty oh, bad, but then I went up to see uh, the Dixie Chicks, and that made me. Kind oh, of, I didn't think you were that bad. Okay. I was pretty bad. I say in the vid, if you oh, pay attention to the labour of sorry, love mate, that's I've, been, I've been a bit, out, I've been a bit busy. I um, I said I think it's one of the worst hangovers I've, oh, I've ever had. Really? But in that's retrospect, good. I mean, I can't remember it, so it couldn't have been that bad. Yeah, true. Right. Well, uh, away from the last couple of days, the last night of the festival, and back to the start where we were. Um, first day, the Wednesday. What did we get up to? Was it on, Walked around tourism, tourism, just yeah. wandering around tourism? Because there's there's that much to see at Glastonbury. Like I know that we didn't see everything. There's there's a stage that like, I keep seeing pictures of of like it's like a domed thing. Like the crowds kind of like are on the side and it's all like on the floor. I we never saw that. Um, That's we we say in the video about how good it would be to like have on your app where you've got your map to have like grayed out areas. Yeah, like, like GTA. Like a, like a video game yeah. map. You know, so you can t see where you have and haven't been. Yeah, like, that would be, be such a good idea. I don't know how easy that would be to no. implement, but... What, what would be great, and Glasgow would never do it, but if they did like a... I hate to use the word, but like a... Like Boomtown do a, like mm -hmm. an influencer wristband where it doesn't get you anywhere special. No. But like all the little secrets and yeah. stuff present themselves to you. Yeah. So like our mate Macy was saying that she got handed like a leaflet mm -hmm. and just standard, you know, just yeah. walking past the standard uh, general admission, like got handed a leaflet and it ended up being like a, a ticket to like a hundred capacity Fred again secret set on like wow. a Sunday. That's cool. And at like Boomtown, if you've got one of those influencer wristbands, yeah, automatically they, just get one. They they kind of yeah. the people handing them out and playing the characters like see you with yeah, it yeah. and look out for them and they make sure you have or at least know about that experience. Cause what I'm thinking is like how how would we because there's so much secret shit and yeah. like and how could we how could we possibly capture it? But yeah. I guess that's part of the part of the experience, part of the, yeah. the magic of it, isn't it? But like you got to think, if we go back, what's the? How do we innovate in yeah. it? What do we do different? Yeah. Um, because the secrets, I'm guessing, are different every year. Yeah, it will be. It'd be nice if they did something like that. It'd be a very good secret if it was same every year. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, true. Um, yeah. So first day wandering around, um, and not a lot was open. So it was a lot of the stalls and a lot of the little stages. They were all closed. So it really was just taking in scenery, mm, just having yeah. a having a, a wander around the site. And it's a big, beautiful site. It, it, There's it a is lot big. there. God, it is. It's so good, isn't it? And we it, we were taking it in so much that it didn't feel big until the second day. Yeah. I felt we were walking along, and it, and it didn't. I was like, oh, it's not that big. But that's just because we were so like enamored. Mm. And we got to the pyramid stage, and it was much smaller than we thought. And then we saw those with the first music that we saw, which you you probably won't remember, Dan. You'll know if yeah, you've yeah. seen the, yeah, the yeah. vid, and it's got the, it's got yeah. like the fucking concertina and yeah. stuff. And they commented on the vid saying, good, "Oh, we're glad good, that." Good, good. What's a concertina? Like one of those um, Eastern kind of like squeeze box type thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Like the things you don't like. That yeah, make, just uh, make a noise. Like yeah. concertina. Concertina, yeah, I mean, that's really? what it's called. Yeah, yeah I just concertina. don't know what a concertina is by the sound of it. And they commented on the vid, which yeah, is they nice. Did. And then we cool. wandering uh, around there, you went to the bakery. The good Habit Band. Uh, good Habits Band, sorry. My bad. For, yeah, so that'll oh, go good. down in history as the first live music we saw at Gloucester. Yeah. Thanks for commenting. Big up. We enjoyed what we heard. I yeah. wish I'd have gone back to that bakery. Like, it looked quite good. They, they had quite a good selection. There were breads, there were Pasties. Oh, bread is so underrated, man. <laughs> I love. I mean, let's not talk about that because that's that's a spoiler for Rockwatcher. But bread is great. <laughs> I, I love a pasty. 
Like, I'm a big fan of pasties. Yeah, pasties are good. And I mean, again, we say this in the Rock Watcher video coming soon in two weeks, <laughs> but truly there needs to be a Greg's. Why is there not a Greg's at a festival? I mean, there yeah. won't be a no, Glastonbury. No, of course not a Glastonbury. I know that. But like, that is that is the the next thing. God, you've you've got co-op. Permanently. You've got co-op. You need to have I a Greg's. I refuse to believe that like Melvin hasn't at least spoke to someone at Greg's. I agree. I agree. Maybe, Maybe logistically that it's hard to... But it's ha- but it does work. There is bakeries. Yeah, Couplands. I'm yeah. sure they'd love it. No, but I'm saying no. There is, there is bakeries at festivals. Yeah, well, look at Rockham Ring. They had the little with the bakery inside it. Yeah, it's like, literally watching it, a brand yeah. new fucking yeah. ciabattas get served. And it would be great. The right terminology. The right, brand, yeah, new. brand new factory fresh ciabattas <laughs> straight out the old oven. Brand Kick the tires like the fires, don't you? With ciabatta. That's it. Um. Right, so wandering, wandering round. round. Yeah, yeah. We're back to wandering round. Um, there was just a lot to take in. Yeah, there was a few I, things on that first day that we got told that we had to kind of like see. So there was the opening ceremony thing. Yeah, there was the fireworks. Fireworks. So um, that went off when it started to get dark. Yeah. And then there was far too much smoke, so you couldn't actually see the fireworks. <laughs> it was mad, wasn't it? Did we go to the Stone Circle and read the Book of Glastonbury on the first day? We did, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. And we signed that. I wonder yeah. where those end up. I wonder if they scan them in and you can see them online. Probably not, eh? Because no. that would be like, too modern, man. Yeah. God, it'd just be on a bookshelf in here. We went to we went to yeah. Glastonbury on Sea before all oh, that, that shit. Was great, yeah. So it's a Glastonbury on Sea is a pier in the there's, middle. Of there's Gra- nothing Glaster. really to it. Like it's just a pier. Yeah, there's a but few little it, stalls. It's just it just seems so cool. You get to send a postcard home, like you're. At did your did yours ever send? Nope, nope. Still my neither. Up. Yep, my neither. Well, that gives me luck that I haven't put the address in. No, I, cause I thought that as well. I sent two, one on the pier and one somewhere else, and another one it's somewhere bollocks else. Bollocks that. Like yeah. I, I sent my postcard the day after from an, a much yeah, but yours got a first place. class stamp. I was got a bunk. Yeah, like, uh, so maybe yeah, yours will go as like a, a franked business mail bulk to yeah. like a distribution place and then get sent out. Yeah, mine arrived while we, with my mum while we were still on site, and I sent it the day after yours. Yeah, I remember, I remember seeing it's it. It's worth the extra quid. Yeah, it was actually I mean, quid fifty to send it, and then I believe it was two pound to buy. My oh. wait, yeah, uh, whereas ours was a quid to buy, quid to send. Yeah. It's actually a quid fifty more. But she's, so you're lying to but she's got it though, aren't you're she? Lying to <laughs> she's she's got it. She's got that postcard with tits on it. <laughs> it does have boobs, yeah. No, does, it doesn't. Does it not? No, it says it the, says word, the tits. word tits. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I don't if know. you'd watch the video, you'd understand. I was there, mate. I don't need to watch it. I lived it. Okay. But I'm going to watch it at some point. Good idea. Thank you. We need that view. With that one view. Yeah. Hey, every, 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 every view counts, man. And his mate pounds. Uh, so after we did that, we watched the world's shittest uh, sunset. That was yeah. annoying. That was annoying because we wanted a real like Coachella moment. Because I remember, if I remember correctly, when we the first time we went to Coachella and saw the sunset, it wasn't really that busy when you think about it. There was quite a bit of space. Oh yeah, it wasn't busy at all, really. So we just kind of oh sorry, I in my head just had envisioned it was going to be like that. Obviously, it wasn't. So much busier than that. Very I remember this one guy had a, was whinging at us because he was like, oh, great place to stand for that, like right on the path. And it's like, well, not we where else do you want me to stand? Well, also, we're we not on the path. Sure. And, and also, you've saying this whilst you've already walked past me, so it can't be that much of an inconvenience. Yeah. Dickhead. Shut up, whoever you are. Um, if you're a subscriber, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the sunset that night, um, a cloud just came in front of it. Yeah, that was annoying. Like it's, it just completely cut it off for us right at the last minute as yeah. well. Like It just waited for it. So that was a bit annoying. Didn't get any excitement. But then we went off to see the big bonfire, the opening ceremony mm-hmm. fire thing. Took too long. Um, it was supposed to start at 10, I believe. Yeah. We waited there until about half past. Still no fire. So we fucked off. And then the mm-hmm. lit. Yeah, that was annoying. I would have loved to have seen that. but Yeah, that would have been cool. But you, know you don't get everything in life, do you? No, nah, you don't. And guess what? That leaves so much for us to see next That's year. That's true. 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 Both those things. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then that night, we went out. We mm-hmm. did. Yeah. Where did we go? Oh, we went to... Um, we went to Shangri-La. We went to Shangri-La. For oh, no reason God. at all. No reason at all. No, no literally reason. no reason at all. Um, Shangri-La, I thought, were great. I got very drunk that night. That was a... Yeah, we because of those strawberry daiquiris. Yeah, yeah. so an eleven pound strawberry daiquiri. Um, it was strong, like it was you, strong. And you can tasty. get like because it was like a it was like a slushy type thing from like machine. And usually with things like that, they're pre, they they have not a lot of alcohol in it. To be fair, yeah. Um, but these did. These were strong. 
So I think it was you and Raz went to the bar first to get some strawberry daiquiris. Yeah. I said I didn't want one. And then I thought, while you were getting served, I was like, oh, you know what? I actually one, do yeah. want one. So I went over and I was like, right, can I get a strawberry daiquiri, please? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll make you one. So she turns around and then Raz goes, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just buying a, a daiquiri. And he goes, I've got you. I've got everyone one. <laughs> I was like, I've just ordered one. What do I do? And he just goes, run. <laughs> <laughs> run. So I walked off. Um, and then I presume they had the daiquiri. Yeah. You know, they're probably... I, d- I, d- I, um, I looked over and she was like looking for you. She didn't really know what to do. She just left on the side. Well, we did, that's we did I... that at Rockwitcher as well. <laughs> yeah, we did. God, this is a right teaser for the Rockwitcher uh, video and podcast, isn't it? Well, that's because it's fresh in his mind. Yeah, we should have done this true. much Yeah, sooner. I know. Uh, well, to be we'll, fair, I don't think Glasto could be more fresh in my mind. It's so... Ooh, it's not yeah, but that's because you've been watching video, constantly editing. Mm. So it's fresh so in you. So have you. Yeah, I not know. Not every but, aspect of it, though, I'd imagine. I mean, you've done, like, obviously more than me. Well, I mean, I don't need, I certainly don't need you to tell me that. But <laughs> you've still been swept through yeah, it a few I know, times. But still. Mm. But yeah, so I had a really good night that night. <laughs> back to, back I'm, to I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get rid of it, though. I'm trying to look, relax a little bit. <laughs> trying to wipe as much of it out of my mind as I can. Well, this should hopefully be the great cleanser for you. Like a appetizer. It's like therapy. You get it all out and then it's a waste of time. It don't work. <laughs> uh, the only issue I had with that night is every bar was playing music without words. <laughs> like yeah, just, EDM. But apart yeah, from the EDM. bar that we're literally at. Yeah, but that's why we ended up in there. So it's it was the Rocket Bar. It was, it was like diner a diner place. It, rocket diner. Yeah, it was like a, um, a, a, ca- a 50s or 60s cafe. <gasps> and that's something we can do next year. Yeah. I've just remembered that night now. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Well, we've been talking about it for a while. Yeah, sorry. I've kind of just got got my head around, because it ended, didn't it, with you, Raz, and MB went off, and it left me and Dan. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah it left me and over. Dan, and we were so drunk, just wandering, wandering around, and we tried to get into that meat club thing. Oh, the gay which bar. Which I'm almost certain is a gay it bar. Is, a yeah, gay it is, club. A gay bar, yeah. It is. So we were trying to get into there, and he was like, nah. Can't let you boys in, something like that. And we were just like so loud. I'm like, why we gotta go here? We wanna go here. And it was loud. <laughs> no, we. I, if I can remember correctly, we were just so drunk and we were just wandering around. And we found like this little like seating area where there was like some lights. And it's like, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, you did. Yeah, did we? think so yeah god i do not remember that at all like after yeah strawberry you, daiquiris, you definitely would you was... would because you were at the screaming phase of drunk yeah I get you you quiet, were at the stage of like all you wanted to do was just scream you're right the here. most annoying drunk friend yeah you are yeah, well you know what you're the most annoying Bro. annoying one of, of the group uh, with love someone's got to be by default yeah. and it, it's cap just, just yeah. well so you know what be. i can't help being the best screamer in the band <laughs> and also be the one who goes hardest every time so you know Deal with it. And also the anti wingman. I'm very good yeah. at that. I mean, thankfully it's not really an issue, but No, but it's one of my great great abilities. Well the anti wingman. Good super- I don't want you to, <laughs> That's to a great pull. Superpower. I want you to have fun with me. <laughs> not in that way. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good save. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say something. Fucking big nose. Me, I'm not I wasn't even thinking about it. I was thinking about how much water I can drink before I need to have a piss. <laughs> so that was day one? Yeah, pretty. I mean, we've not really said it, but that it was just a lot of tourism, yeah. just a lot of seeing stuff. And, and the one thing I took from that day one was sunburn. <laughs> sunburn for two, not for one. What? I don't know. Shut up. Um, great. You've taken me off track now. I forgot what I was going to say. I'll get back on track. I can't remember. God, you are useless. I oh, know. The one thing I took away from that day was um, achy legs. Yeah, there's I mean, it's just because there's a lot of walking. We've um, we've all joined. We've all got each other's fitness thing on the um, Apple phone. App. The iPhone. On the iPhone. It's funny because in the vid, we're like, this is how many steps we've done as if it's a lot. And I knew when I was putting it in, it wasn't a lot. Yeah. It's about as many steps as like most people do in a day anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's just because we're always on our fucking ass. Like we never get any steps. It's like, we've done loads of steps, like 20,000 steps. That's like now. Man, literally like, like I, I know like people who um like... Every day when they get home from work, they've done... T- I, like, I used to do that more than that in curries, God. working in curries yeah, for eight yeah. hours a day. I did in my engineering like, It's not jobs. even a fucking lot of stuff. Dan, Dan's been so lazy today. Of course I have. I've been working. God, you've only completed 6% of your ring. I, well, you know, you shouldn't be looking at my ring. <laughs> Shit. Um, wow. Yeah, really good first day. Um, it did kind of just blend in with all the other festivals because yeah. 
it's you know there was no music there was no real it didn't for me no. i think it as a as a non-music day it stood out for me really yeah. oh yeah because it's non-music Glasgow, day. Like every bit of it stood out. Like yeah, some, you are. Like, yeah, you are right. Yeah, let's talk are. about Rock Workshop again. Half of it wasn't built though. It, it was that'll in in two years. I won't be able to tell you what happened at Trees no. Rock Workshop, Rockham Ring, and whatever else. Glass. I'll always remember yeah, yeah. what happened That's at true. Glasto. Because you got to remember, like Wednesday for any other festival is um is, sit, a, is a nothing day. Camp day. Whereas our Wednesday was still a lot going on. We still saw a lot of stuff. You got to think we went, you know, there were still loads of bands playing, even yeah. if we, you know, not bands that we knew, but like acts playing, you know, we went to the um, shell thing. There, there was all like different activities like that. There was, there was a lot going on. The shell thing, which was the climate activist thing. Yeah. They took a picture of us, didn't they? I think they did. Yeah. And I'd no, love but to I, see I where think that I, is. I, I think that might have just been someone. Who yeah, was I think that was someone's there. personal picture. Yeah, but why would he want a picture of us? Because it wasn't a picture with oh, us. Oh, you're it right. Was a it was of yeah, us. Yeah, it was. In front it was of the no, thing. he took two. He took a picture of us and then with us. He took two. I remember that now. Well, but maybe. we haven't been tagged or anything. Well, so. maybe. Oh, I did actually get a message. Actually, um, oh, sorry, we got a message from someone asking. Um, if we've got any more footage of some footage lad. of yeah. that drunk guy, I I didn't I, I got I saw the message yeah, yeah. I haven't had time to respond. What drunk yet, guy? But just a drunk guy. Someone just timestamps the video and says, "Have you got any more footage of this guy? It's our mate, and we think it's funny." Oh, yeah. um, but I he, he was drunk to be fair. Uh, right on to day two, Thursday. Day two. So another tourism day. Yeah, the camp started getting a little the bit thing busier is, as well. It's just there's so much to see at Glastonbury, like, arguably too, like, it's, there's so much to see, and you've got, you pay so much attention to it, it tires you out. It does, but I don't think, you were going to say there's almost like too much there. Mm. You didn't say it, but I didn't, like, I stopped myself. I, yeah, because I don't think there is. No. Because you've got to think like, what, what, what would you do again? What, mm. what would you do that's yeah, new? You're right. Yeah, you're right. And, thankfully there, I didn't say that. There probably will be a lot, I know, but like, just, <laughs> That was the that was the sentiment that we were saying in yeah. the vid, and, and I don't think there is too much to do. I think for someone who always wants to be out and about and mm. doing something, and I don't want to sit down and do nothing, it's perfect. There's yeah. there's just about enough, and I'm really glad we did stuff like go on the tower, yeah, because it would have been so easy to just like fuck that off. Been like, it, oh, it was a long like, like, fuck hour, long queue. way, it, wasn't it? It was an hour. Yeah, I just checked on my thing. It was an hour. I think we exaggerated a bit on the vid and <laughs> made out as if it was like ninety minutes. Oh, it's exaggerated. And, um, but uh, but it was still an hour. Yeah, and it's a I'm movie, really, baby. I'm really glad we did it because we almost didn't. Yeah, and it was just like, ah, oh, let's do it. And the, it was really good the timing of it to catch um, everyone singing. At that, at yeah, because that's why we were over there, wasn't it? We were going to go to indie, indie disco, indie disco yeah. and it was Wonderwall that they were all singing. Oh no, no, it's it Dolo back in anger. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, yeah, I, that were great. Like, and you could hear it from the tower. You could see everyone like with hands up in <sighs> air chanting it. And annoyingly, for the vid, they let you in up the tower eight at a time. Yeah, and the eight that went before us, f the back four of them was part of a group where one of them was proposing yeah, to, to his yeah, missus. Yeah, they had confetti cannons. And it would have been great to be up there and mm. capture that moment for us and for them, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, everyone would have won. Yeah, that would have been cool. Like, imagine you've and they, they and then you kept, suddenly find it on a, yeah. a festival vlog. They could That's have got hundreds of thousands that. of views. Could it show the grandkids? Mm. That would have been cool. Oh, Sorry, wow. we couldn't facilitate that for you, whoever you are, Sorry. if you even watch these. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> hey, you never know. If I remember correctly, I was dying for water that day. You were, yeah, you like, that was, stood in the drinking water. It was really queue. hard to. Uh, I get there was there was a lot of water points there. There was over eight hundred water points. Yeah, but when it's two at a time in such a massive area, yeah, it it uh, it, it was it was hard to get water. Like I can't, what? We've had a lot of comments saying that like that was a bad water point to choose, and that was a it? lot of the other ones were like much. But what's that? Two hundred thousand. Sorry, was it two hundred and twenty thousand? People, that's GA, isn't it? Is it? That's just, is that GA. just GA. So and I think there's like fifty thousand. But going off just GA, what's two hundred twenty thousand divided by eight hundred? Come on, it's pretty good. Still, it's a pretty good, a pretty good uh, ratio of water points to people. Two hundred seventy-five. That's pretty water good. Point. Yeah, it's not. And then divide right. that but by like usable hours in the day. So divide it by you've got 18. like not even that by twelve. I'd say like you've you've yeah. got twenty two. So 
So you've got so, 22 people all trying to use it at once. That's not too bad. 22 I people. I think there needs, there needs and to there's be more. Two, and there opinion. was two sinks But look, look at Jake. Like, I mean, I waited wait for wait like that queue well for over an hour. hour. I know, but I think that was just a bad one. That, that, it was a bad time. time to do it. But you know what? We, we actually worked, We actually did it quite well because every night before we went to bed, we filled up the water. Because yeah, the queue, there, was, ju- there was still a queue, but it was only like maybe three, four people yeah. kind of thing. But now we've shown them what to do on the video. Every Everyone's night is going to be absolutely rammed. But no, that is something that like, as I've started drinking more and more water instead mm. of just drinking beers all day, something I noticed, like I didn't take my water bottle with me because I knew it would take ages to fill it up. No matter where I went, no matter how many water points they had, like there was, there still is never enough. And it's, Every single festival is yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, even though I've just been defending it, because I do think it has enough. Yeah. But you've got to compromise. Like you've got to either buy the water, yeah. which is a compromise I will make. It becomes I'll very pay, expensive. I'll pay 250 for the yeah. water. Or, or you compromise with your time, and but it's what's more valuable. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind paying two fifty for a water if I got a fifty cent a litre bottle like that, or a fifty cent a litre can. Yeah. But you're not. You're getting a little thirty three um, cent a litre, little coke can sized millimeter. Yeah. Um, not millimeter. Yeah. Sorry, I was three three hundred thirty millimeter. Sorry. Um, I know. I, 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 I knew what I, I knew what I was saying in my head. But yeah, it's it. The cans of water were really small. So I'd l- I'd like them to be bigger for the price. What was annoying is I tried to buy a reusable water bottle when I went to one of the water fill-up plants. I mean, you did? Yeah. Oh, that Roman was rude though, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was she really was rude. Like, it was it was just really annoying. Like, I get if you don't have any Wi-Fi issue and you, you, it's cash only, that's not a problem at all. But she said it as if like I was an issue. I would issue. even say that is a problem. Yeah. And it was no like, internet. And, and, so and it was like, thankfully, I had like an empty like dark fruits can with it me. It doesn't so use like, the internet. And I was like, can you just use that? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. But and, I, and I, stupidly, I made a comment of like, you don't have any because I saw some people with some plastic cups. I was like, oh, do you have any plastic cups? She was like, plastic cups aren't good for the environment, though, are they? Really? I was like, okay then. All right. I'll fucking shut up then, yeah. shall I? God, I hate people like that. God, just so like, I understand, rude. yes, so we need to do more for the environment, but don't be a dickhead about it. But you know what? She might have been the only rude person I experienced that weekend. Yeah, so. it was a field full of lovely people. Yeah, My um, water thing was I would get a water out maybe every like three times yeah. that I would go to the bar. I think that's whatever. why it stoves off the hangover a little bit more as well. Well, yeah, this is... And then on an evening, I would get three waters. Yeah. Which is seven fifty, right? Which right, you're knocking cameras, you. yeah. Seven fifty, better in my pocket than mm-hmm. in the co-op's pocket, but it's you know it's a festival, right? So it don't matter. And seven fifty gets me three of those little cans. Yeah. Neck one when I get into bed, and then two for morning. Yeah. One, one for I can Barocca. Use, one I can use for Barocca. One I can use just to drink and for brushing teeth and yeah. and stuff, and mostly drinking. Yeah. Um, and that worked for me, but the first. The first night, I put it in the top compartment of my tent, like the little netted bit on yeah. the roof. So it literally was like a fucking cup can of tea. Of, yeah, it was like drinking a cup of tea. <laughs> Awful. Just, just with no tea or milk in it. While we're on the subject of water, it's um, a good thing to note. There's n- barely any showers at Glasgow. And that's because if there were, there'd be a lot of water usage. Yeah. Because of 200 and odd thousand people mm. all trying to use water at once. Like, they don't have it. So... As you've seen, the best way to get around stuff like that is just have a, one of those big bags of water to tap on and have a camp shower. Do you know what? I had some of the best festival camping showers I've ever had at Glastonbury. Like, because we filled up that water the night before and left it out, by the time we got up and had a shower, the water was the perfect temperature. Yeah, it wasn't cold. It wasn't cold. It wasn't too... Obviously, well, it, like obviously it wasn't too hot. The cold's nice. Yeah, the, the, there's a time up. and place for the cold water. Don't get me wrong. Burley Road. Yeah, <laughs> Burley Road. Oh but that um, was so shit. In December, like ice literally pellets freezing here. cold. Shower. I remember googling like benefits of icy shower, <laughs> like watching this YouTube video because people tell Wim you off. like yeah, well, benefits, yeah, Wim off. and it's like oh, it's just because you know what's mad. Choice. I literally do that every time I have a shower now. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll slam it on as cold as it'll go at the end for like two minutes until my body's naturally used to it. Oh, and it awful. is it genuinely like it is really good for you. Like it's, it's, it's a no. For it me. is. It's, it's good for your mentality. Science, really. Well, have you not it's seen good me? For your mentality, have you not it? seen me <laughs> come round? Eh? Right. Have you not seen me come round? Who's the Who's the man who does it? <laughs> you. Yeah, and I'm All not right. sat here whinging about. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. Oh, I've got to work. Well, like, you know, it's I'm fine. Yeah, you do. Don't worry. <laughs> You're the only one who has. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so you've inspired me actually, or Raz in particular. No, um, me. Because at Rockworth, I noticed he's got his swim trunks. Yeah. 
because I always think when I'm having a wash with either baby wipes, a combination of baby wipes or the camp shower, oh. how do I avoid just getting my clothes wet? Yeah. So I've bought, and I'm not I'm not proud of this, but I've done a, a bit of shopping on Boohoo Man. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm on, a, about I'm on a budget, all right? And I've filtered by cheapest first swim <laughs> shorts course, course. and slides. I've, oh, got, I've the, got my slides this week. You've got, you've got the Leeds first Crocs? I've not, they're at my mum's, uh, well, along with my Supreme sliders, slides. And, and also, I bought you some swim shorts in Yeah, I know, but I, but I don't know exactly where they are, but they're in this uh, building somewhere, but I don't know where. So I bought floor. some <laughs> on Boohoo Man, and if we have a camp shower, I'll show you. And I look they're fucking it. shit. Great. But, no, that is the way to do it, though. Like, it's because um, I've got my lovely drop dead shorts. Um, like, I wear them on the first day. And then the, every day after, they become my shower shorts. Mm. And I don't have to get my cock and bollocks out at camp. No one has to see me wiping the gooch. fluff out of my bum and my gooch. Um, <laughs> it's it's fine. Fuck's sake, man. What? Nice. Awful. Hey, you got, it's got to be done. You don't want to be a... a Granular. A, you don't want to be a greb at a festival. You, no, you you're don't. wandering around sweating in the insane heat all day, it, every this day. This is so strange, but I feel cleaner in the heat. <sighs> You're not. The, you're a weird. You're I don't know weird, what it is. Though. It's because I don't hate. Sweat. I hate feeling dirty. Like I really do. Yeah. But like I'll feel more grim in like a mid temperature or even a colder environment, unshowered, than I will in a hot one. Nah, give me and that. I, cold and I smell less as well in the hot, in the hot environment. I think your nose just goes blind to it. No, it doesn't. It's weird. There might be a science behind it. Maybe I'm sweating away the smell or something. I don't know. I don't think that's I've right. Had, it's like, like, where did the stain go? I've had cleaner Gucci's in the summer than in the winter. Put it that way. Mine's tends to be the same cleanliness all year round. Not mm. very then. Vet, <laughs> excuse me. I just love love having a shower. Yeah, showers are I truly amazing. Same. That's why our water bills it, sky high. And <laughs> that's that's also why I'd prefer to go and find the festival shower and wait in the queue for half an hour to an hour instead of having a camp one because the camp ones do get you clean enough, but I want to feel proper clean. So mm. if there's a festival shower that I can use, I'll always go to it, which is why you get so many shots of a festival shower from me. Yeah. Lovely. Um, <laughs> so Thursday touristy day we kept seeing the other stuff that we didn't see they were still building parts of it um, the night out was that the night MB stayed at home so th that was so the when we were looking for so there was there was well, there was what we thought a Skindra DJ set on oh, oh, we God. just made, we just made that up did we? No. It's, yeah, because it, it was never yeah. said that it's a DJ. Oh, no, it's just it it's just because of the way it was laid out on the plan. It wasn't just like the band name, like everyone else. It was the band name, and then something else after it that like said something different, and it made you think oh, well, that might be a DJ set. And you know, it was Eric Takeover, wasn't it? Yeah. That's probably why then, Eric so Takeover what, taking over what? a DJ set. Yeah, but the, well, the thing you, is, we know the, though, but we look know the, about the Eric Takeover because they do it at loads of festivals. But look at the two DJ, the, the two artists that we thought it was in the lineup, Skindred and Empire State Bastard. Oh, but why would Empire State Bastard do a DJ set? God, but why would shit. they be invited to play at Glastow? Because they're, they're a, not the clientele. Well, clearly they are. It was busy, wasn't it? I don't know. I didn't go. Fuck knows why. God. No, I mean Skin Dread was. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Skin Dread was, well, yeah. Terrible sound, though. Awful sound. Yeah, it was really the bad. The sound engineer was having a nightmare during... Because, like... Terrible on the CD as well. <laughs> <laughs> what about the cassette? I haven't. I cannot comment on the cassette. Uh, why have you bought the CD? Sport local oh, musicians. No, you're going to why have you? Water down your chin, man. Yeah, man. Dribble uh, So we wanted to find somewhere that night with a bit of music and somewhere that wasn't Shangri-La because we are yeah. creatures of habit and if we find a good night out we tend to just go there every yeah. single night out and we're trying to not do that and we've got some good ways I think that we're going to minimise that going forward minimise 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 but the issue we had we just couldn't find anywhere like the place yeah. was so big it was just hard to find somewhere and it got to the point where we were arguing between whether we stayed at a bar like you know just a normal it was like a pub bar no, no, not even a pub bar. It was like just a like festival a, a festival bar. bar that I just had some speakers out of it with yeah. no like seating area. It's just yeah. a front shop face. Just, just as you what you'd find at a festival or a burrito, burrito bar. Stand. And I'll tell you what, the burrito bar had the best music. I mean, it did technically. The, like, uh, it was a rugby club burrito bar. Yeah, it was very strange. And then we walked a bit further to the village inn, yeah. which was exactly 
exactly no, it wasn't. what we were looking no, for. No, it wasn't. Was it not? No, Why? because okay. that is the mistake you made in the video. Is it? The Village Inn is not where we ended up. The Village Inn was the Kevin and Perry place. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You know, you you're, are right. You're dumb. Where did we end up? What was that called? I can't remember. But so there was a Kevin and Perry Some, night. Someone sent me a picture of it, of like its poster, the yeah. place we were at, the indie place. Yeah. It was great though. We found we we were walking and we heard dance Peter, floor. Better look on the dance floor. I'm like, oh, surely this is gonna be another like fucking food vendor with a speaker. And it wasn't. It was like a bar, but it was like a proper like tent and like had lights and stuff. Yeah, and there was seating inside, and there was like the dance floor yeah. inside as well as coming. It was outside. exactly what we wanted. Yeah, it was a proper little. Bar. And we made out as great. if it was like all indie. It, like I think only ten percent of it was indie. Skills and all sorts of. It was just all the stuff like you'd want to hear on a night out. That was, was not chop suey, yeah. and it was a good mix of like good songs yeah. and cheesy songs. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, perfect I don't like night it when out. It's, yeah, perfect night out. That it's it fucking great. dancing on the tables. I'm dancing never gonna get pulled on a fucking gimme gimme gimme. Absolutely not. I really am it not. Is it's such the mum, a banger. It's the mum's version of Fat Lip, and I'm totally, totally signed on for that. Yeah, it is great. You it know, all these years later, awesome. after it's coming out, it should go back to number one. <laughs> but it's the remix version. Yeah. And then they splice it with Hung Up by Madonna every time, and it's just great. It McKiley? McKiley? Hung Up, maybe. I think it's Madonna. Pretty I'm sure hung it's Madonna. up on Yeah, it's Madonna. You. Is it? Of course yeah. it is. Kylie's too busy, like, saying, Oh, yeah, oh, it, 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 what are you doing around here? He is, Madonna, you're right. God, Madonna's great. I think Madonna's on my bucket list, you know. Really? Yeah. I don't uh, think alt to Madonna. Like, don't get me wrong. I do rate Madonna. There's, there's some bangers. Yeah. That, but, you know, it, I don't think she'll be able to play it as good as she used to. Oh, Just like that. Metallica. Metallica. Madonna, oh, give you away, baby. So that night, we got drunk, would you believe? I would. Bridie went to sleep. Yeah, went home it was a before we boy. even went on the night out. And then nothing really happened, did there? No, we were doing a bit of pole dancing. Yeah, and yeah, uh, we just got funny. we just got a good level of drunk, yeah. and then went home when we when we were tired, yeah. and it was a perfect. And then it was the first. It was a perfect night at Glastonbury. That for me. Yeah. Now you can see it. Then it was the first proper day at Glastonbury. The Friday. Yeah, the music started, the music and it day. was scorching that morning. It was hot. I mean, it was hot every day, to be fair. And I mean, you you know it was hot because I wore shorts a lot that weekend, and I hate wearing oh, shorts. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah Thursday had example. Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> so, um, example was rammed. It was like, It was so busy. There were too many people trying to go in and out at the same time. And, and it's it like, about. because uh, it's, there must be, there's got to be a South North divide with this kind of stuff. Because people down there didn't have manners, they were just pushing into each other and just the, like, I, like, I hate I, to I'm say there, it, like, but the truly sorry, is after like, you, sorry, after you, would you, oh, thank you. Like literally, if someone lets me through, I'd thank them, but other people like, not fucking, like literally pushing through. I, I hate to mad. say it, but I do think that there, 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 there does come a, a line in the country somewhere where, People in crowds just become very rude. Yeah, they get aggressive, you know, and it's like I do feel like people up north are a, a bit more wrong, respectable. Like, and again, there are, still, there are. everyone still agrees that everyone agrees yeah. that we're nice. So there's no dan- no need to dance around it. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, that's the reason why I first direct have a call center here because like, yeah, the number nicest, one customer but, service. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Plus, net good honest broadband from Yorkshire and Glasgow as well. Halifax. Halifax Bank, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what that is a reference to, but it was um, <laughs> there wasn't Stormzy, was it? On about Halifax? Oh, it was. No, it, it was. was oh, it was Liam. Liam. Yeah. Oh, was it? oh God. Rob shit. didn't seem to think that Halifax Bank was from Halifax. I thought it was from Scotland. No, no. That's Bank of Scotland. Yeah, which is the same company. It is now, and it has been for as long as I've banked with them. Well, that's not when it started, though, is it? No. Nope. Thank you. It's when it, I started. Back to this festival anyway, rock, no, Another rock merger teaser there. I know, stop talking about it. The good thing about the Glaster, like you could tell we did a good job because... A lot of views. The <laughs> day, th- like the proper, the first proper yeah, yeah. day isn't until over halfway into the video wow. where it starts. Oh, that is good. Which means we did enough. Yeah. We did 41 minutes of just straight up enjoying the festival. God, that is God. good. On, a, on that flew two by. days where only one artist that we yeah. liked was playing. Mad. Um, but on that Friday, there was quite yeah. a few artists that we um, that we liked. What were they? 
So we started uh, off with a little band called the old uh, Foo Fighters. No, we didn't. No, we get, uh, saw the we hives. We started off with oh, a little band the little band called hives. hives. So was I've that? I've never really listened to the hives. No, he seems before. no one has. <laughs> Obviously, I've, I've heard like the main bangers that they've got because I've played guitar here on games similar. Um, but I've never listened to them before. I don't really know much about them, and they wowed me. So the front man was great. He played to the crowd so oh, well. Uh, like he's, he's dead funny, really charismatic. Um, and then the rest of the band just played amazingly. Like they were really They're good great. music. Yeah, yeah. proper and good. Like they've really garage. made a listener out of me. And I've I've, I've listened to them today. They did garage. I'll listen to them tomorrow. No, it's like proper garagey in it. Like proper. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not what he said. It's great. He said proper garage. Well, yeah, I mean, it is. He's not fucking brilliant. But yeah, very good. Um, I will definitely be adding more of them to the library as I listen to more of them. They're great. They're just a fun, fun band to see. And then we saw Lightning Seeds, and then we saw Kylie, Kylie Ray. Ray. Gosh, she's great. She was a bit shit, I think. Yeah, she was. She wasn't as good as Coachella. It's just, it's just not for me. Like, obviously, the two big bangers, like, yeah, I, I kind of enjoyed them, but they are just cheesy for me. I'm not that arsed. Uh, the rest of it, couldn't care less. Not my, not my bag. Lightning baby. seeds were shy as yeah, well. Yeah, they were. Boring. They're, they're just not for me. Like I, I appreciated the the slowdown and the niceness of the music, but just not again, not my bag, just, baby. Just shit. We were all there for the same reason. We were only there to see. Yeah, the last song it's coming out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, then then it was the Foo Fires. Then it was the Churn Ups. Brilliant. Yeah, apart from the sun. Yeah, so, so I hadn't put any sun cream on that day. No. Because oh. I was like, I'm wearing my long sleeve, so I wouldn't eat it. And I just didn't think about my face. And it was just Beaming absolutely. Straight and I was watching the food fighters behind my elbow like this. Mm. So it there was, was, especially where we stood as well, just as the sun was going down, it was like directly in our face. Yeah. So there was a little bit of an annoyance for me at the food fighters. Um, there was, to start with, my legs were burnt. Like the mm. bottom of my legs were burnt like to fuck, like worse than I've probably seen them in a very long time. Um, oh yeah, they were, they were like really rushy. But uh, where we were stood, it was already packed. Like even out to the side, it was rammed. And there was just a group sat on the floor. Yeah. And um, like they were just sat as the crowd formed around them. And then people were wandering through the crowd, came up to a group of people sat on the floor and they're not going to go around them because, you know, I'm not, why would you? You're sat on the floor, you're the inconvenience. Yeah. Um, so they just walked through them. And you could see these people getting a little bit annoyed that people are walking through yeah, their groups. Sat there, like, exactly. Um, and then someone like stumbled and stood on someone's foot as they went through, and they just looked at him so annoyed, like they've done <laughs> su- such a disjustice. And I'm like, disjustice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the right word. What's the word? I'm injustice. That's the one. <laughs> <an> injustice. <laughs> the thing is, even Glasto agreed when because when it was busy and they knew it was busy, they put on the tannoys like everyone yeah. fucking stand up. Yeah. yeah, put your chairs away. Put your yeah. picnic blankets away. Like I saw an article. I didn't read it, so I'm just gonna very loose to say this but there was, an the title. there was an article on about how people got annoyed because there was a, a group of people having a picnic during Elton John yeah I saw that as well yeah. and then like people were just kicking off of them yeah but yeah. so this group like they, they eventually stood up after one of them got stood on because they were sat in the middle of a really big crowd um, and then one of them stood behind me um, I'm ashamed to say because I don't like bringing it up but they were a bit bigger so the every a time, big fatty uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, unless it's my mates I don't want to say it um, but they were pushing into the back of me with belly, which is dead annoying when there's someone in front of you. Like, you're behind me. I can't orchestrate the, the space mm-hmm. between us. That's your job. Yeah. Um, but they weren't, and they just kept knocking into me. And the night before, I'd actually um, fell over and stood up dead quick. Oh, and you didn't scratch your back. My, I caught my back on the table, yeah. and it, like, it proper, like, it, I've got Robin. a scar now. Yeah. Um, and a big bruise and they just kept knocking it with a hand because the hand was over the big belly and um, it just kept poking into it and I'm like this every fucking time like trying to and I did start making it a bit more exaggerated yeah. to show to them like oh fuck off like what you're yeah, doing yeah, yeah. and they just didn't so I had to start twisting and I'm facing the wrong way at this <laughs> twisting point twisting and shouting yeah it's like fucking Paul McCartney in the food fight and then eventually it stopped um, but then they had a bag that had some pretty solid edges, like a proper corner on it that was rock solid. And that kept swinging because they were holding it down by the legs and it just kept swinging into my sunburn. And it was like, no matter yeah, what I did, so one thing, those people were irritating me. One thing we kind of noticed was people's um, lack of 
the kind of ignorance of them having a bag on. Like they didn't yeah. really think about like, it. Did they don't they? register the hitbox. Yeah, as it's Rob would so say. dumb. Yeah, it's like it's a not, it's not got collision in the red. Yeah. yeah, it's like you. you I, if I'm wearing a bag, I'm it's so like it, aware. It's like they think it's just going to clip like, through you. I'll build in like an extra like foot and a half yeah. of horizontal space. Yeah, you need to. No, ver- you need some yeah, turning horizontal. room. Yeah, like your hitbox is extended. And yeah, if you if you turn annoying. with a bag on, that bag's going to swing out. Do you think but people don't recognize it's that? It's better if you've got a bag on and you're walking through a crowd. Do you think it's better to have it on your back, carry it, or have it on your front? Always carry it. Um, yeah. I would carry it on my back just because that's what I, you know. I don't like carrying it on the front. I would carry but it with I'd, my hand. Yeah, I'd I argue. I'd carry it with my. I'd hand argue well. the best way to walk through a crowd with a bag because if you carry it with your hand and it's a busy crowd, it's going to start swinging into people's legs. No, it's you on your, yeah, hold it, hold it up. Yeah, but that's that's going to make people your arm are, ache. people are more likely to move. But if you've got, like, well, that's what I mean. Like you're holding something up, it's like mm-hmm. right, come on, I'm getting through. Get out of the way. If yeah. you wear the bag on your front, you'll like a pedo. You, if you, you wear do, it on your back, you'll But uh, it arguably, it's the best way to get through the crowd because it's then just like a big belly for you. It doesn't show can, any you sense can, of like no, urgency though or, or motion. I like don't if understand why you need a sense of urgency when you carry. What if you're screaming? Well, you know, you're getting you're getting through a crowd, aren't you? Yeah, so but doing that's not gonna. How yeah, does that no, show any more urgency? Does, like just if, having it on your honestly, front, you're just walking. If you're just walking casually and your bag's on, there's the assumption that bag's just on. That's that's yeah. you. If you're walking through, it's why if someone's got a pint, admittedly yeah. a pint can be spilt. But if someone's got anything up, yeah, they get that's right, right through yeah. the crowd that because is there's true. a subconscious understanding. They're not going to be holding that all night. They're getting yeah. to somewhere and then putting and, it on. And it's one it of down. those where, because it's kind of like up in your face near you, you don't want it near you anyway, so you are going to move. But if you've got a crate of bevs in your bag and you're holding it up near your face, you're going to get tired. You boys are weak. But that's, that's, that's your own. But you can't have it all. Yeah. yeah, that's why I put it on front. But I wouldn't put it on front anyway. I'd put it on my back. <laughs> you wouldn't. And I'd register that it's going to be, you know, my hitbox is extended, so I need to watch out for it. And guess what? I do, because it's all up here. Yeah. All up here. Train were good. Yeah, great. Just as, it was just weird. what I needed. Nice short set. Didn't have it was her. weird seeing Foo Fighters during like during the day for only an hour. It was yeah. It's kind of like what we did at Rockwitcher actually. With some oh, of the should have about <laughs> Rockwitcher. <with laughs> but um, I was ready for it. You know, I'm a bit kind of fatigued with the Foo Fighters at the minute, and that was just what I needed. Yeah. Still emotional. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's not as emotional as Rock Amler. No, of course not. But it was still it was still great. Yeah, it was good. And do you know what I'm. I'd probably say I think they're going to headline next year. Oh, without a doubt. Do I think I think it's going to be them, Taylor, and well, t- Taylor Cat is dead. Oh, come on, man, have some respect. Taylor Jeez. Swift. I'm not asked. Oh, I love Taylor, Taylor Swift. Yeah, we know why you love Taylor Swift. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, and I don't I don't know who the other the other one is, but I think Foo Fighters and Taylor Swift next year. Don Broker. Don't think it's gonna be. Have you seen they've just announced um, American Tour, Scotland, a, a couple of shows. Oh, have they? Uh, Liverpool, Leeds and Newcastle, and Scotland. No, mm. Liverpool and Scotland, Glasgow and Glasgow and Liverpool. Yeah, yeah you were no. gonna say Glasgow and Scotland. Then so, yeah, you? I got that right then. But it's why we just say Liverpool and then a country. Yeah, because they're not gonna play in the entire country. I just don't care. <laughs> I that's that, that was my same <laughs> right. response as well. Yeah. Anyway. Um, back to the festival, not Don Broco. Although, we'd get your mouth off of that. Someone, you, someone you, else has to use you that. You brought them up. Yeah, because I love them. You went on about them. I'm here to talk. <laughs> mate. That's what you want. Me. I'm here to talk for another, maybe, maybe another 35 minutes. Nah, we need longer than that from you. Unfortunately, Ooh, so I've got me. stuff to do. Well, yes. unfortunately, it's in the calendar. Till when? Uh, have a look. No, it's no, it cha- no, it's not because he changed it. Un- no, it was always that time. It was just when I reset it up because Raz had to change it because he has band practice no, for his band. Half late, no yeah, chance. Absolutely not. Well, you all agreed. I'll do till half eight, just because yeah, I do so. have a lot of stuff to do, and we've got festival tomorrow. All right, yeah, so but we can, we've up. got we've got enough time. Hurry up, that's loads of time. Hurry up then. Um, Come on, talk quicker. We're already more than halfway through. The so bit. there was what was after that. Turnips. Um, what was after turnips? Royal? Oh, Blood. Royal Blood. Oh, Sorry, God. I kind of forgot forgot all about that. Yeah, they are forgettable. I, do you know what? I had a little nap during, and I know, I know that's the bit. No, legitimately, like yeah. genuinely, I had a nap. The thing is with Royal Blood, like the songs are a little bit catchy. They're not that bad. There's a lot to like just, about it. They're so boring. Th- there it's is a, so generic. Th- there is a lot to like. It's got all the right ingredients, and I think Ben, the drummer, is brilliant. And like I really do rate him as a drummer, and he looks and, like the guy from Pendulum, and he seems like a really nice guy. Better made, though, and so does the the main guy. Doesn't seem like a like not a nice guy. It's just I don't know. There's just something about it that just doesn't. 
it's like vegetarian Tom Morello with a side dish of like Diet Coke Muse. <laughs> and none of the magic or what make what? any of them. I get it. I get themselves. It. No, you do. Yeah, yeah, no, no, because it's like it's, Ex- explain it's, what you get. So Coke is great. You no, love is Coke. That, no, the vegetarian Tom Morello and right, the Diet so, Muse. Yeah, so veg- so Tom Morello, great, brilliant, yeah. innovative. Yeah. So Using describe what a vegetarian in a, yeah, Tom Morello is. So a vegetarian Tom Morello is like, yeah, it's still fine, but it's nothing like the full meaty version, is it? I think you mean vegan. I mean, if you want, if you want well, a vegetarian, because we're, like, well. I, are you comparing it to like meat? So it's Tom just, the it was meat, just a, a funny way to the, say it's a watered down, it, slightly innovative music, I, yeah. but it still manages to be quite boring, especially that fucking. And do you know do what? Do do some people, like, cameras. Do 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 some some people like table. vegetarian stuff and diet coke. Some people like yeah, that. They do. Lots of people, fine. otherwise they won't be subbing a thingy. But his little, his little Marty fucking thing at. Right. Uh, like Big you know, you play, uh, you're you're moaning at the BBC, and I know for a fact that he definitely pays his TV license. Yeah, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. So if you want to be rock and roll, then don't pay but that. Razzie, <laughs> Razzie said it right with that though. That's fucking great marketing because that got them spoke about yeah, loads. What did. are you doing with? <laughs> Just looking at my teeth. <laughs> no, <Don't. don't. laughs> But it's, it's it's great marketing. It got everyone talking about them. Got their name out there even more for people to be bored by them. And, you know, fair play and to And credit them. where it's due. Like, they do have some good songs. I like yeah. Little Monster. And I'd say on the video, very clearly, Typhoons is brilliant. Yeah, um, the great playing. And it gave us, a, uh, a you know, the, the the more boring ones, which sadly is most of them. We went and had a Yorkshire pudding. And it was yeah. fucking nice. I had a lot of stodge. I had the Chinese and it was a rubbish. Mm. The Yorkie was the What one, did we man. think of the food this weekend? This weekend or Glasto weekend? It means Glasto the weekend, weekend we're talking about. Well, I mean, we've pretty much split it. That is good fucking lot of rot work you're talking this, isn't there? Um, I was I was really pleased with the food at yeah. Glasto. I were, um, some of the food could be a bit hit and miss, but I was happy with the amount of choice. So yeah, there was a there was a great choice for of choice. Yeah, yeah, that that was it. Some of the, we we do the ten second food review now, mm-hmm. so we were like, right, everyone gets something different every day. Yeah, and, and we pretty much did, apart from the first day when we all got a burrito. But at least we got like no, different things. Well, Wagyu burger, that's what you And Bridie didn't get some at the same either. Yeah. And then, yeah, we just did a good job at diversifying it. Yeah. And even though it's annoying to what stand was in your, a queue uh, on your own. What was your favourite food of the weekend? John, you know, mine might have been those loaded chips, you know. Really? For a tenner. It was great because there was there was so many layers to it as well. So you could just have a normal chip. Or you could have a chip with some cheese. Or you could have a chip with some fucking pulled pork. Like It was it was just nice and there was a lot of it. It certainly filled, filled me up. What was yours? What was yours? That grilled cheese. Mine for you. was the um, voodoo spice chicken wrap. So you didn't see it because oh, yeah. um, you'd well, gone off to get I a did. cheese toasty. I've seen but, it. Um, it was lovely. They filled it with the, plenty of chicken. Um, and yeah, spicy as fuck. Well, not spicy. I went for a milder one, but they went up to habanero. Pussy. No, because oh. it was a red hot day and I didn't want to sweat even more. I, I'll pussy out a bit with my choice, but it was that I really liked the samosas that we got on the last day. Uh, we got four samosas for six quid. They had a good spice to them and six quid. You could, you know, you're paying like 14, sometimes 17 quid for yeah. some food. Those four samosas, you could get eight for 12 quid. And that's that's definitely going to fill you up. Apart from there was an issue with that. Well, yeah, so this was the thing. So the staff were great and stuff, but they thought I was paying for Jake and Razzie's. So they charged me 18 quid. And then they charged Jake and Raz as well. Yeah. So they had... 12 quid more out of us than they should have done. And I went and sat down and didn't realise. And I was eating my food, like right in front of the vendor. And he knew that he'd overcharged yeah. us. And instead of coming and saying, or yeah. waving me over, he waited for me to then thankfully realise yeah. and then go up. Because as soon as I went up, he was like, yeah, I know. And he sorted it and he gave me it back in cash. Yeah. So that's money laundering, the mm. company's money there, our company's money, which... We're not trying to do, but no, no they made no. us money launder, but they probably wanted to avoid tax, but they did it wrong. They did. Because there was a few places that were like, oh, no, in-, like with the water, no, no internet, can't do it. Yeah. Like you have to pay in cash only. Mm. There was like, a lot of uh, cash the, yeah. preferred signs as well. Definitely because they're trying to dodge the tax man. Don't you know what? That's fine. One good that th- is fine with me. One good thing about Glastonbury and its food vendors is quite a lot of them did cheap meals. Now I don't. In previous shows, it's been a fiver. I don't. I, I didn't see many fivers. A lot of like six quid ones, but yeah. you could get like a good meal 
for six quid. There was also it was that, like a real that tent. I can't remember. Yeah, name the name Harry Krishna. Harry Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. That gives you a free year. meal. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really annoyed we didn't go to that. At well, least because yeah. I wanted that's that. That's summit for next year. Because it's a. Uh, it was obviously a, good uh, content as well. Yeah, it just it seemed like nice. I rate the Harry Krishna. I think I kind of like the. Mm. You know, I'm not spiritual in any way, but <laughs> that's one of the ones that would oh, probably be on on my short list. Yeah, I'd like to do that. That was my foot on the floor. All oh, right. <laughs> um, Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, they were. I really were, enjoyed yeah. them. You know what? Because I don't listen to them that much. Um, they played the bangers I know. It was a good show. Yeah, it like, was. Yeah, it was. But it you, was you boys show. obviously, well, especially you were expecting the yeah. 2013. It's just like big boy any, set. Any flair at all? Like I wasn't expecting. Even if we didn't get a certain romance, I wasn't expecting just a vanilla show. Yeah. Yeah. Like. It was arguably more vanilla than the ones they've been playing on this tour because mm-hmm. they opened with sculptures instead of like Mardi Bum or Cornerstone or something random that yeah. they've been opening with. It was it was a good show, but it was dampened by just the lack of uniqueness. Yeah, but well, they I, did sound excellent. Yeah, I watched some of the. I've watched quite a lot of the BBC coverage. Um, some it's got a lot more views than ours, but um, <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, who do believe? But. Um, I am. Um, it sounded brilliant. I made it better for myself by FaceTiming my lovely little man, Chucky. And that really, like. Big man. Seeing, seeing his face, like, perk up because he's getting to see monkeys. Like, really, that, that helped me have a really good night. Good. It really perked me up. And I enjoyed monkeys. Yeah, they were good. And then we went, we had a nice early night. Yeah, yeah we, we did. did. We'd have thought we'd had two full on nights. So tonight's smart. Night. Really yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. Take a night off. Pace yourself. This is really something clever. We, we've learned as we've got older. You need to pace yourself. Yeah, you, you can't really be going do. hammering and, it and all. And not weekend. even that as well, but just great for vid yeah. as well. Because you've got like two nights of going out and then a night of not. And then we're feeling it's better str- yeah, yeah, for yeah. like that third act of the. Of the yeah. It's so down to a fine art now. Mm hmm. Maybe it's because we do so many. Maybe we'll it, figured is. it out. Yeah. You know what? It is, maybe though. it is. And maybe one day you'll figure it out watching us do it. Do you know what? We'll tell you how. We haven't been to a silent disco really all no. year, have we? No. No. I, I can't mm. think of a single one. And this that's weekend. Good. Can't we will be out this weekend. I, I don't want to digress too much, but they're shit to vlog. Silent disco. Oh, absolutely. But they're, they're, great, they're great, great to be in, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so Saturday got up nice and fresh. early as usual, freshen up at camp. We've got, we've, we we, that's been a bit of a common theme. Like we've gotten up pretty. This is the good thing that I like is like we set a deadline yeah. and it was 12 o'clock at Gloucester. Yeah. Like by 12 o'clock we're, we're leaving camp. Yeah, yeah. And we have a saying now. So if we need to move and you're just being a little fucking Lazy bitch about bitch. it. Galileo. Galileo. That means, come on, mate. No, you've got to get up and go. And we all have to abide by Galileo. And so far, no one's fought back on it. And we haven't really had to use it, though. Like, so it's, it's been We all just got it at Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, and that that is, especially after this weekend, it's just following on, isn't it? Like, the body clock's kind of set to be up around nine. Nine. And then maybe an hour laying in bed, then an hour, like, up and getting ready and sorting yourself out and Rob waiting for us to do all that. (laughs) Uh, and then we're off by 11, 12 o'clock. And this is what concerns me a bit about the festivals that we've done and the, like, how do we innovate on them? Because we're not going to have that much drive mm. to like, at you know, the Festival X or whatever, where just insert generic festival we've done before. How do we drive ourselves to actually get, get out of camp and leave? Uh, and we'll figure it out. Like yeah. we need to, we need to actually put pen to paper metaphorically or realistically and look at these festivals yeah. and think what can we do and i've got some good stuff for this weekend but i'm also a big believer in like you don't we don't necessarily need to like push and innovate constantly like people can't come to watch us for us but they yeah. come to watch that the, <laughs> they fell in love with the original content and putting too much pressure on yourself is equally as bad as yes not no. but also as a creator i want to create some yeah. oh power. no yeah i know that i want to push the boundary and this is the exact thing that like i'm dissing alex turner for but like <laughs> you know you d- it, it's we could give the viewers a shopping video every week and it'd yeah. be the same and they'd, they'd eat it up. But we owe them better than... If you ask people what they wanted in 1888 that have said faster horses, yeah. right? They didn't even know about the car. I want to bring them the car. God, Not I've the Arctic that Monkeys so album. <laughs> I've heard that so much. It's just more rewarding for everyone. Yeah. And also, like, when we're doing this all the time, it's nice for us to do something different. Yeah. Man. I'm just not excited about the festivals we've already done. No, neither Aside am I. from this weekend... Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, that's yeah. because you're doing something completely different. Yeah, it's gonna be good. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, up Saturday. So did we, there wasn't really ought to do Saturday. We had a bit of a wander. We went. Was that when we saw Tommy Smith? Was that I'm that? Just day? looking yeah. through now. So it seems that. We went, oh, we went for that really nice cocktail because we got up and started oh, wandering yeah. around again and we ended up in Shangri-La in the daytime. Yeah. And we daytime. went for that nice and cocktail was, uh, with the reggae. Danny Donnelly, what is he called? Danny DFD. I don't know the guy who made the stage. Oh, and we we made the rings. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that that day? Yeah, yeah. we made the rings. So we made these nice rings because there were, so there's a section of Glastonbury where it's like the crafts area. Rob's not wearing his. Make loads of different Slightly stuff. Slightly too big. And yeah, we made some rings. And you know what? I'm very happy yours with Yours looks great. Yeah, I it mean... It, it looks store-bought, yours. I, I was really happy, apart from the seam. No, but but I, but I kind of wanted it to be a little bit ruggedy as well. Ruggedy. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was really happy with mine. Obviously, yeah. I don't have it because I gave it to Danny. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I did a fucking great job. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm tr- blowing my own trumpet here. But my hand skills are second to none. <laughs> But do you know what? Great guys that were running that stall. Like yeah, very really friendly. Really friendly. Uh, um, yeah, it was just really nice. And for 20 quid as well. They were Something to, I didn't like about it, the only thing I'm critical about, because they were great, was they said it would take 20 minutes. Yeah, and it, it, took, it took like took 40 million, minutes. Yeah. But I think that's probably 20 minutes for one. But when it's five, it's going to take longer. Mm. Um, but they, they, they were telling that's us, they were telling us they... Um, they used to be go like they used to go to Glastonbury, and then they had the great idea of right. How do we not have to pay for this, and we're guaranteed a ticket? So they just created their own thing to do at Glastonbury. They were, which they is were their so stall. nice as well. Yeah. yeah. Aside from the guy, the Don, the they, owner, they were all nice. The Don. I mean, the Don was nice. The, he was just the guy who like started it. Like, just couldn't really be asked. No. But he was still nice. Yeah. yeah. But the guy Ali, who yeah. was our main guy, and his brother-in-law who was yep. sat down doing the soldering <laughs> they had great banter yeah. really really nice people man he, he introduced him as his brother um and then he goes oh my brother married my sister <laughs> uh, that, that, i found that really funny obviously brother-in-law um yeah very friendly um people really cool thing to take home and it was only 20 quid for that ring yeah it was good that. and uh, it's really good value for money i know it's only pewter but, you know, you've got a little experience. Great, yeah. You've got a little trinket to take home and to was, keep or uh, to give to someone. And it was something like that we never do. We never entertain any of that stuff. And Glassdoor's full of that. So there was tons of them that we could have done. We just went to the first one. It was literally <laughs> yeah. the first one, wasn't it? Because we Walked usually into quite that bad. area right away on the left. No, do you want let's, to make a ring? Let's do this one. Yeah. We're usually quite bad. We'll be like, we'll, we'll be like we want to do this. But we've got but to see if there's walk, another yeah. one for no reason. So this time we just decided first one. And it was great. I highly recommend going to Absolutely. the little arts and crafts area and making something to keep as a little trinket because it's so much we better should do than maybe buying like, a little thing that's already yeah, made. Yeah, we should do maybe two things next year, two different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or maybe all, of it. all separate off and do our own thing and come back together and see what we got. That's a good idea. I like, I like that. that one. That's my idea. Love that. Up here for thinking. Uh, so then we went to see lottery winners. You went yep. to see Luis Capaldi. But yeah. um, the mad thing was seeing the fucking red arrows, man. Good God Almighty! Boring to me. Oh, I don't care about them I've been at to all. Plenty of air shows. I don't it's care about them. I don't flying care on. about flyovers. I don't care about air shows. I don't care about aviation really at all. Rude. But it was just not knowing that they were there, mm. and I was watching the lottery winners. And when you're just kind of looking around you to take in like the scenery, and I just looked up at the sky, and then those seven. What is it? Seven or eight? Is it? I How think many it's is it? Probably One, two, seven. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you can say, isn't it? Seven. I'm gonna say nine. Um, I knew it was an odd number, and and they just bl- it just blew me away because I was so not expecting. God, they it. must have been low. I thought we they were pretty low. I th- I thought we were under attack. I thought I didn't know what my God, brain was seeing. I felt like I was. I felt hawk. like I was in the submersible, and it was just imploding. And you d- you've only got like the w- your neurons can't even fire in time to process what's going on. So how um, did you feel like that? If it was. Too quick. After the fact, because I'm still standing yeah. after all this time. Uh, I saw it as well over at Lewis Capaldi. Didn't see it coming in. Just all of a sudden, it was overhead and then gone. Um, but Lewis Capaldi, so he he had a bit of a, a bad bad do at his set. Came on really strong start. You know, playing his songs who were great, but his Tourette's, uh, mm. what, whatever his tics are or whatever is is going on with him, just started taking over, yeah. and it was getting worse and worse for him to the point where he, he just couldn't sing anymore. 
Uh, but it was so beautiful. The crowd took over yeah. and the crowd literally sang his song back to him. And it was, I know he was probably in a state and wasn't enjoying it, but to see that happen, to see people treat someone like that rather than just be dicks about it. And like, cause at Leeds Fest, they'd be dicks about it. Yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, but to see the crowd treat him that way and be so lovely to him and like that really warmed my heart that. Nice one. People yeah. respond to, I saw a comment that's in my own thing, but it's a great phrase. People respond to sincerity. Mm. And that's what that and was. He's a real sincere bloke as well. Like he is, he just comes across as such a lovely person. He's, and you know, when he does headline leads, I'll mm. go and see him. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, he's not going to do it this year, but you know, it might be back next year. I'm sure he will. And we'll do go you know and who see him. Yeah, definitely. I, I was thinking of this earlier. Do you know who I think would be a great replacement for him? Don't say Fred. Rage Against that the Machine. played at Glastonbury. Foo Fighters. Nope. Not played at Glastonbury. Lil Nas X. It's not likely. It's quite Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, yeah. You know what? I mean, they pulled out. They were meant to headline it before and they pulled out. Yeah. I'd like to see them. I, 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 like, I, 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 them. I think that's a pretty good shout for a replacement, to be fair. I don't listen to them, but I watched a little bit of their set at Glasgow, and it looked like a really it good time. Good, yeah. Like the the one of Dan North in the middle of the pit. <laughs> yeah. like, proper, like <laughs> what is mad though is people moaning at us that we didn't go see them over Elton, Elton John. But it's Elton John's <laughs> last ever UK like, show. Like, why would we not go see Elton John? And you to know be what? fair, Razzy was wrong saying there wasn't enough rock at the festival. He was. I, I don't know why he. Said I don't that. know why he said that because I there was. I loads. didn't agree with that. I didn't either. either. There weren't enough metal. Tell you that much. Yeah, but that's fine. Like there nah, was, there was plenty of rock like music at that festival. I, it was a dumb comment to make. It was um, Queens. So I'd be disappointed if they were announced as the replacement, but I can understand it happening. I'd see him as a sub headliner or as a well. It is, that, that's that's stage. what the slot is, isn't it? That's what they had at Glasgow. Yeah, who's on the main main stage? I don't. I think is it's it not Billy. Maybe. Yeah, I think Maybe. it is. Okay, well. But, yeah, yeah I hope they do because I'd like to see them I want to be in that pit that Dan North were in it looked great <laughs> yeah. don't listen to the music don't know what they were playing at the time but it sounded a bit heavy and I tell you what Dan looked to be having a grand old yeah, time in there he looked like he'd you know sniffed a few things <laughs> that is libelous and he may or may not have he probably this, probably sniff. didn't he's a man who can live it's off his own one. energy but he looked like he was off some real energy, if you know what I'm saying. We then watched one of the greatest rock and roll bands to ever grace this earth. The lottery winners. Elton John. Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. And yeah. I, I got Star Spangle bannered off my yeah, fucking you head. You know what? I found them so boring. Like Until the last five songs or whatever it is, the only bangers they've actually got, it was just so boring. There's a lot to say about it, really. I think... Well, you've only got they've got fifteen know, minutes. Are real. They, the problem with Guns N' Roses is, is their bangers are like hyper bangers. Yeah, yeah. They are. They've got five hyper bangers, and they transcend time. And like everyone loves them. And the problem with that is when they're not playing one of them, the generic audience don't care. Yeah. Everyone said it sounded like shit. It sounded fine to me in the yeah, field. Yeah, it sounded fine to yeah. me. Everyone so. at Hyde Park said it sounded yeah, great. Yeah, it, but it's, you raised the point that they're all paying to see Guns N' yeah. Roses specifically. I thought it was from the what I can remember. I wasn't frustrated about it. I thought Axel sounded a bit shite at start. Axel, Axel's voice in general is not what it used to it's be. It's the weak point of the band, but it's the yeah. only point part of the band that could possibly degrade anyway. Yeah. Unless like Slash got like Alzheimer's or yeah. Parkinson's or something. Or his fingers fell off. Or his fingers oh, fell right. off. Yeah, Frostbite. Nah, Tony Iommi does all right though. He's pretty shit is Tony Iommi now. <laughs> Good point. Didn't it? Wasn't he Ozzy's guitarist? It's yeah. Black Sabbath, yeah. yeah. Ozzy's guitarist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, was he a guitarist for the band Ozzy? Literally the man who in, uh, pretty much invented heavy metal. Yeah, no, Ozzy's guitarist. <laughs> Ozzy's Danny guitarist. doesn't know who Kurt Ozzy's Cobain is. Ozzy's guitarist would be Zach Wilde. Sorry, I don't know that choose. single Or Randy, Randy Rhodes. Um, but no, <laughs> boring. <laughs> really boring. We got part. really drunk that night though. Yeah. Did we talk about this at the start, getting hammered? Um, we did on the last night episode slightly. No. Um, oh, not the last night, sorry. I talked about getting hammered already, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, but yeah, I don't think we went into... You just you just got very, very drunk yeah. that night. So we, and, we that's when we broke out the AU vodka, which is fucking lovely, by the way. Like, it's fruity, and you can drink it straight and still not enjoy it, but enjoy it more than if it was yeah, not fruity. <laughs> um, but we just got absolutely blasted on that. Um, did MB go back home early again? Yeah. 
yeah, he's yeah. Tired, another early know. night. I, can't, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, how yeah. He, 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 uh, he got tired. But then we did the age old thing of going back to the same place we always do. And but we it went, was good. It was the right choice. It was the right choice. Right um, but while we were in there, Rob was getting worse yeah. and worse to the point where Razzy went to the bar, got us all a drink, and got Rob a water. And when Raz is buying you a water, you know it's bad. Thanks, Raz. Um, but he says thanks, Raz, but he didn't at the time. No. He wouldn't have it. He just wouldn't take his water. So we had to force him to drink his water. Literally pin him to the like, ground and start pouring in his mouth. And I got covered in it as well. When I know. saw that clip first, because the, the clips were a bit out of, out of yeah. order in Final Cut, because like one ended. When a clip yeah, ends yeah. after another one, it puts me in the wrong order. Um, and I thought I was being sick on your face. <laughs> and really? I was like, no way. Because all you can see is like, we're wrangling around on the floor and then you're on bottom and I'm out of frame and then just a load of liquid in your face. <laughs> oh and I was God. like, well, if that God. happened, I'm not, I'm yeah. not saying anything. You, you, you got battered. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was just water. Yeah. Uh, no, but that was really funny. Um, is you that the night home? when he, when he pole danced or was that? No, that was, that was, that was the other night. Yeah. yeah. You so, got a lift home. Yeah, we all walked home. You got a lift. Yeah, so I left you guys in there yeah. and yep. walked home. I'm just basing this off the video. The only thing I remember firsthand from getting that lift home, and I must have gone to where you go to like, when you come to like a, a vehicle crossing in a festival where the steward would normally say stop, mm -hmm. I must have gone down a vehicle turning yeah. instead of just going straight across. And I don't know where I ended up. I've got a photo with the guy, mm -hmm. but he was like, where are you trying to get to? And I just said, like, dairy fields or whatever. And he was like, oh, what wristband have you got? And I showed, went to show him a Glassdoor wristband. And this is why I've kept this fucking Isle of Wight one on. Media why? in big letters. Oh, that's good. And he was like, media, right, come with me. And I think that helped me get in that, yeah. in that van. And then he just took me to exactly where I needed to be. Oh, very good. And we had a, I think we had a good chat. There's some mumbling going on in the footage <laughs> and I'm just like saying thanks very much. Sorry for being a knobhead. Wow, it was man. lovely and we got a photo together at my request. And, and <laughs> yeah. on my you mean he didn't ask for a photo? Well, you know, kind of big while, deal, um, while, we, while you were still in the actual uh, tent, I forgot about this. You tried dancing on tables while you were absolutely <laughs> yeah. fucked. And it got to the point where like, we're having to hold you, we're I having to stop you. Mid, and you were like literally the back of your foot was on the edge of the table behind you. And like one little stumble and you'd have but gone this down. this is the good thing that I'm and, grateful for because like... But I was trying to help you and you weren't fucking grateful no, that no, night. of course not. <laughs> you were having to go. Mate. Absolutely, yeah, of course. But like that's the... It's nice to know that you're that safe because like if we were at... If it was a different group of people, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have deliberately yeah. put myself in that, in that space. So I appreciate yeah. that. Good fun. Yeah, it was really good. We had... Uh, did we go via Arcadia that night? You did, yes, yeah. we did, did yeah. yeah. So went, went via Arcadia. Arcadia, went and checked Legendary. that out. Lots of fire, it got really warm. Um, you two went home and I wanted to see... Uh, Arcadia, this. it was great. It's just not not my type of... No, there's no words in your music again. No. Maybe next year we can go and take the AirPods. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be funny because then like we could be... I'd have, I, I, that means I'd have loved to have seen the... Chemical Chems, brothers, chem yeah, set there, but it's no, there's no visuals. No, there. I know, but I'm sure they'd have probably made something work. Yeah, without a doubt. Good news, they're there every year. Yeah. I um, I thought in my drunken state, like there was, I, I wanted to go into the middle of it for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to use my um, northern manners, saying "excuse me, thank you, please," um, to see if I can get through quite easy. And guess what? I did. Um, rather than having to push people out of the way when they're not expecting it. And I also thought I'd be able to see the fire from underneath, which you can't because the Actually, contraption yeah, is shot literally in the middle. Just, I remember you showing me that on site, like explaining the shot yeah, you got. Like it's literally so underwhelming. I know. I was so annoyed by that. But, and then I uh, wandered home by myself and got some nachos that were really nice. And I think I was like a bit rude to some people because I was filming. And just, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's this is in the this is in recently. the extended one or the 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 dark side one. You're not being rude. Just as being much very knobheadish. That's not like me. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, that was a really good night again that night. Um, a really good night. A really big show. Really big show. But yeah, that bar is great. That little indie bar, which isn't an indie bar. Apparently, it's the gay bar. Some no, say. the gay bar's the meat place. Oh, really? Yeah. Fair. Um, but yeah, then Sunday came Sunday around. Sunday was a lazy day for us. We didn't move. Well, you did, 
But me, Dan, Raz, and MB, I don't think we left camp until like two. We were just like so... Well, MB didn't leave camp. He did. Well, he did, but not with us. Oh, right, yeah. Um, but we were just so, so shattered. Like, Yeah, we, because you know, we went hard. On the fifth day, night. like, we were just tired. You went to go see the chicks. Yep. I, I sat through half of it, mm-hmm. and I did love it, but they'd played all the songs I knew, yeah. and I wasn't going to get any more out of it. Mm-hmm. The chicks, um, is that Dixie Chicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have just announced an arena tour, actually, yeah. and I'd like to go to that, because I don't know many I do songs, think they're very any. good. Um, the highest selling female band of all time, fun really? fact for you, yeah. Wow. Uh, we had quite a chill day, really. Yeah, we, we went, did. We went to the Glastow sign, sign, deliberately to film our... Intro, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thoughts, yeah. And the intro, which worked great. And then we had a nice sit up there. Went to the bar. I tell you what, for everyone who's taking a picture at the Glassdoor sign, take it from behind. It looks much cooler. It's like like being behind the Hollywood sign, truly, and just flip it in post. Flip it real good. Um, what else did we do? We uh, we just potted off and had a bit more of a wonder, didn't we? Yeah, saw a couple of acts. Yeah, so we saw Lil Nas that day. Yeah, we all the flag. Yeah. Um, Jake Valley doesn't know how to measure anything. So before we went, Jake was in charge of getting the flag and the flagpole. Um, he oh, great flagpole, guys! Incredible flagpole. It's a good flagpole. Isn't it, it was really huge, good. nine meters, yeah. nine meter flagpole. You were telling me I need to get a twenty meter one. I thought well, that was, a, was dumb. I thought it was ten meter. Uh, it wasn't. No, it's nine. nine. Things I've never said. You did. You said it. I don't white. But you know, at the end of your nine meter <laughs> flagpole, did. you know that high up in the air that you you can see it from the Hubble telescope. Don't know. That's not the right thing to say. Um, because that's on the ground, isn't it? No, the Hubble telescope's in space. Oh, God, I'm so right all the time. But it don't look at Earth. No, they turned it round this time. They don't. No, they have. They don't do they that. They did, though, when they looked they at the flag. It's too hard to turn it round for anyway. something as unnecessary as that. So they would have needed it, though, to view this uh, flag that Jake got. There's been comments about people saying they saw the flag and were so happy to see us there. So it worked. How did they see the flag? Because it was in a tree. There must have been people sneaking in, climbing up the tree, oh, trying, cheeky to, <laughs> trying to... Trying to sneak in. I will admit, right, here's the story. I bought the flag when I was slightly hungover while I was away, and I just didn't, my brain just wasn't working. Like, I spent a long time, like, working out measurements. And what I were the just, measurements? I just, was it millimetres to metres? I might have used the wrong measurement. So How that can it you use the wrong measurements? Millimetres. It's times 100. Look, I, 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 but by what you're saying there, what you... But what you're saying there means you'd either have ordered what you ordered or ordered one a hundred times bigger. <laughs> Look, just don't worry about it. I messed I'm up. I'm not worried. I yeah, messed up, all did. right? I'm aware of it. It takes a man to admit that. Yeah. But it was the size of like two pillowcases stapled <laughs> together. And thank God it's funny. Yeah, it's a good job, Jake. I knew what I was doing, all right, guys? Oh, it was one-sided as well. So you can only see it. Do you know how hard it is to get double-sided flags? Start to two and staple them together. Yeah, see. Then you'd have really showered out of me. Why? <laughs> just because of the price. Well, they, it's expensive. Thankfully, I don't know how much it costs. Well, so Jake, tell us, because, you know, people might want to know. How, how, much how, do you, how, much how much do you think it was? I reckon 60 quid. I'd have paid about 50, 60 quid for that flag. Oh, do you know what, boys? We were all right. It was 30 quid. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah, ideal. So you could have so so got two then, <laughs> <couldn't you? laughs> Um, but yeah, so we ended up, uh, later on at night, we ended up at Elton John right by the side wall. Perfect spot. It yeah. was a great spot. Apart it from was if you've got so a flag. busy. So, yeah, so busy. Yeah. Aside from if you've got We a were flag. under a tree, so the flag became redundant. We forced it through the tree, but it kept that getting was snagged that on was the funny. tree. It's because I'm a funny guy. Um, but yeah, it was a it was, really good spot for Elton. There was a couple in front of us and they, they were looking for, her, I think, their son and his girlfriend. And they were saying they've been to Glastonbury so many times and they've never seen a crowd like that before. Really? Yeah, they said it was very busy. I mean, it was I've, busy. I've seen the pictures of it and it yeah. looked like the entire field yeah. was just full. Uh, and I mean, you knew it was busy because, they, like you said earlier, they put on the screens and had a voiceover of like saying, if you've got chairs, you've got picnic bags, it's put them yeah, away. Fold them up, put like, them away. So get as many people in. There was a guy like in front of us and you knew he was just a knobhead. I think he was selling some party balloons or something like that. <laughs> And he was just being a knobhead. And he just deliberately put his chair down, sat on it, while there was a queue of people trying to get out. He's like, I'm not fucking moving. I'm not moving. It's like, why are you being such a fucking dickhead? Yeah, that's a proper 2012. Honestly, they really annoy me, those type of people. And he had one of those stupid hats where it looks like it was neon neon paint splattered. Plate. 
Oh, do you know what I fucked up? I don't, th- I don't think we'll ever be in a crowd that big in our entire lifetime. Yeah, I'm right. trying to think like, I mean, we have been be. like, Led Zeppelin wouldn't do it. They just wouldn't. Like, Paul what? McCartney wouldn't do it. Oasis. Uh, where would Oasis think- get 200,000 in a spot? Like, I don't think Oasis would do it. No, do you think Led could, right. Led Zeppelin could no, even pull in those numbers? I don't think anyone, I don't think enough people care anymore. And that no. Elton's been. I think Elton even is, with like is, McCartney, like no, nowhere near. Yeah. yeah, I think that will be the e- biggest crowd Elton, we're ever in. Like, I think Elton has proper dwindled off. Like, don't get me wrong, still an absolute legend, still one of the biggest artists of all time. But who goes out and who puts Elton on now? Like my little brothers uh, don't listen to. Him. Say, I don't listen to. Him. Probably uh, the film probably helped him out a lot. Yeah, but also yeah, like you know we say that, and I get what I think you're right for the most part. But like massive number one hit yeah. last year, like all of it radio with yeah. Cold Heart featuring Dua Lipa. I think it, it's probably a lot of it is to do with it being his last ever UK tour. Absolutely, the yeah, last yeah. chance you're ever yeah. gonna get to see him. So people will just come out of the woodworks like sure. like I wanted to. For sure, like, yeah, I don't listen it. to him. I don't put him I, on. I, I'd seen him before, and he wasn't very good. Mm. But like had to go and see him yeah. again. Is like, um. His special guests are a bit yeah, very right, underwhelming. Bit yeah. God, literally, was, had better special guests on podcast than there, what he was. <laughs> there was a um, there was someone he brought on, and it was like this: he's going to come on and sing his own song. He's a TikTok guy. Is he a TikTok? Uh, it's a good. Know. It's an all right song, to be fair. But put him on at fucking two p.m. Then on the yeah, other stage, like he was. It it was all. That was Elton's set. He's and a it was big, all he's about a, him. I, I love how much of a champion Elton is in music. Yeah, and he really he is really, an encyclopedia yeah. with it, but. Like, for your, just, you can be a bit more selfish yeah. in your final set. Like, yeah. get that guy on to sing one of your songs, will you? Yeah. I'd rather Brandon have come out and done Mr. Brightside if we're getting yeah. everyone to do their own fucking song. Yeah, yeah definitely. It was, oh, but you know what? I'm very surprised by the artist, though. Like, I thought, with it being his final one, his last big hurrah, yeah. that it had got some absolute monsters on that stage, like Eminem. Like, I don't know, get Dave Grohl on there, will like, you? Uh, Brittany McCartney, was a big, um, McCartney and Grohl were on site. Yeah. Oh, God, imagine McCartney up there with him. So, like, it's not even like, you know, it's strange, a strange choice of guests, but he obviously thought about yeah. it. And I, I get he's old and he's um, a little bit immobile in comparison to what he used to be, but he did just sit behind a piano the entire set. And then waddled off at the end. He's a pianist, though, isn't he? <laughs> like, what do you want him to do? I want him to, you know. Do you want little, him to be on the big little, still little, boots like, like he was in Pinball Wizard? Yeah, I'd love that. Great opener, that. I yeah, that. God, yeah, I, I mean, you know how got much I love the who, but like, maybe we've got God, Benny and the Jets as well. A song that I don't Honestly, know the words Honestly, truly to, a, br- a perfect set list. Just you knew every about, single song. A shame about essentially Rocket Man twice. Yes. Like, it was brilliant at the end. It was fucking brilliant. But the Cold Heart number one one that I was just talking about then. Like, yeah, I, I didn't could, need that. I could do without that in the set. If Great. you're playing Rocket Man, don't play that one. Great firework display as well. Yeah, that it was a really impressive yeah, firework display. Brilliant. Like they must have spent. You loads don't see on firework that. displays for headline acts that often. I feel like ah, it's probably something to do with environment in it. Like it's that probably was, not that, that was good brilliant. I think it's enormous expense as well. Yeah, I, it can't be too environmental. Because no, no, Mum, Mum, Mumford and Sons can it afford one. Did, yeah. they, did they pay for it, or were they just yeah, using what the um, dropouts had? Oh, what a bunch of great guys. Yeah, but that's a different festival. Stop talking about Sorry. that. Um, yeah, so I had work on the Monday. Yeah. So I had to start at 12 in the afternoon, so we had to leave which nice is dead annoying. Yeah. So we got a early... Well, sorry, I, sorry, to get a little bit drunk for Elton, to be on a little bit of a level, we took some vodka in, but we needed mixer, went to Corp, and they didn't have anything other than, like, Monster. So we all had two monsters. God, I uh, hate monsters. And then went to do. bed before El- uh, just just after Elton finished, and it was the worst idea yeah, in the world. I had to get up at like five or something like that. Yeah, little, you just drunk two old monsters. Caffeine rush. Yeah. Just couldn't and, sleep. But you know what? I was watching guitar Getting out videos. was pretty easy. Yeah, was, yeah. So it's very straightforward. We we're up at half five. Yeah, like oh, we're up at five, five, and we needed. To, I needed us to leave the site by six. Yeah. Um, thankfully everyone was very like accommodating accommodating and, and helped out and we we all did it um, so we got out of there dead easy a jig threw up at the car though god I felt so I can't remember why I was feeling it was Ill. it was it was just so fatigued yeah at that point. Like, I, when I, I was I was bringing when I was carrying the bags it wasn't even a lot of bags no but you also had MBs oh big I think so I think bed. so I also had a bit of sunstroke as well I was, I was yeah, literally you were bad in sun that I yeah. literally Sunday. shed a tear on that walk mm. I was just like, I'm just going to have a moment now while I'm just on my own. I'm just so fucking burnt out. 
But then I had a nice nap in the car, which I never do. No, I think I had we a all nice did as well. nap yeah. in the in the van. I and, think I got um, an hour. And I just and we got back here and I was just ready to start editing and I and I I thought, do you know what, it's gonna be a real slog this. And I that's a testament to how good a festival is and how much fun we had, because sometimes you're doing the vid and it's like, God, I just can't be arsed. Not yeah. very often, but sometimes. And this was like a joy from start to finish. Yeah. And the proof's in the pudding. It really shows with the video <laughs> yeah. being so great, obviously. Yeah, man. And obviously you've seen it. That's what I'm saying. I know. I don't man. like come on, I've been I've been around him years. I know what I can do. Uh, but yeah, so that is Glastonbury in a nutshell. Perfect um, time to end now you're it, getting the sun in your face. It's great, yeah, it's proper blinding that. Um <laughs> it was a great festival. Uh, I absolutely adored it. I fell in love with it. And I've I've been saying for a while, like Rockham has been the best time I've had at a festival. And it probably still is. Like, Glasto was great, but there was just something about Rockham for me. It was one of the first big ones. It was in the, at the Nürburgring. There was loads of artists that I, I really loved. Uh, so for me, it's... It's a tough one to call on whether it's going to beat Rockham in this little book I've got here. It's it's very <laughs> <But> much <laughs> higher up than Rockham. <laughs> uh, um, is there any we've not done that, yeah, we're, that so we're not doing a podcast for? Are we, no, no, we're we'll doing do a podcast for all of them. Okay, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so <sighs> even with Rockham being the best weekend I've had, Glasto is the Pe- best festival. Pe- people have been putting on comments like, how can you not say Glastonbury is the best festival in the world? And I think... I think it is. I think it probably is the best festival world, but we've obviously been to so many, go to so many in, you know, such short concession that, you know, oh, yeah, it was the wrong word to use. I'm, look, word. I'm tired, all right, man. Um, the, the little thing, we other Not festivals penis. take little bits from Glastonbury. So we see little bits that people get excited about. Yeah, like boom, all over boom the place. Town, you can see where they yeah, got their ideas Yeah, absolutely. From. So you kind of lose it slightly when you're at Glastonbury because it's like, well, I've already seen something like this previously. If Glastonbury's your only festival, absolutely, that is incredible. And it is incredible. I, I don't, that makes it sound like it's not, it's brilliant. We have just experienced quite a lot of those little things. Yeah, um, but I, I, I still think, even though, like I was saying, it, Rockham was so good. I think Glastonbury does beat it for the festival that it is. I, don't get me wrong. I had a fucking amazing time at Rockham. Glastonbury is the blueprint for festivals at the end of the day. I, I had a better time at Rockham, but Glastonbury is definitely the. However, I, one out of thing the two. I did say to you, didn't I? One of the days, it was like you can tell there's some things that they truly are just a bit behind on. You know, you can certainly look at a few European festivals, and they've just got it to a T. Yeah, I can't remember what it was specifically. Shade. But yeah, I guess. The heat. I dealing think. With the I think heat. overall, I am probably agreeing with you. I think Rock and Ring was better for us personally at this moment in time. It was certainly better than Download. Like obviously, this list is going off the rankings that we did, so it's all a bit skewed. With anyway, what, no, no, it's, it's not. not. It's going off the rankings this on the is, podcast. We're, we're ranking these. Yeah, but but it's like the the thought process of like us personally right now, how I'm feeling about that festival. Yeah. Well, is what like, else are you going to rank it on? Just like like a more broader viewpoint, I guess. Yeah. There's there's no way out of the ones we've done that Glass is not number one in yeah. my book. It's yeah. um, Rockham it, Ring was great, but like it, it's it just wasn't. We want Glass like, Glass yeah. like it, it, like there is a reason why so many people rave. I had the better time at Rockham, but Gl- Glass was incredible. And I d- I had a better time at Glass I had a great fucking time at Glass and I didn't realize until I got back and the vid were done and the dust has settled. And it's always the case. And when you watch the vid. It'll just cement even yeah. further, like your feeling yeah. of that. And you know what? It's already written in, so it doesn't matter what you say, Jake. Glastonbury is. That's num- right. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to argue it. To be fair, like it's a. It's, it's, it is valid. Yeah, there's a reason. But until we've done Burning Man, because <laughs> I think that is going to be the best thing we've ever done. I cannot <laughs> if wait. We ever I'd just like to make it clear as well. We, we're not doing that. No, no, no. But we I do, mean, we like, do when, want to. We, when we, we, got, event, we got when rejected. We event, when we eventually do some. We do have another big one this year, line. though, that yeah. um, a lot of people have been asking for. And it, yeah. you know, it has the. I'm very jealous of Can't Go. It, um, it is a, an enormous one, and you can probably guess what it is, but we'll leave it at that. It's uh, it's one of the big four. Be, I'm getting opinion. sleepy uh, now, boys. Right. Anyway, that takes it. We've run over by five minutes. Please don't shout at me, Dad. Muse. Um, but anyway, I oh, can't see anymore, so you boys can shut up. Right, 
Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks, thanks for thank listening, for everyone. Listening. Nice. T-shirts, Patreon. We're on 199,000 views as wow. of this minute. So thanks so fucking much. But no, I, I love all of you at home. You make this possible for me. You make my life so much better. You boys here. I love you two so much. Like you, you are, too, you are. We had such a blast. My entire we world, did. just like the rest of my brothers love and it. Mary, because she's my sister. Mm. Like I love you all so much. I love everyone, and everyone's just you, you know continuing to make our lives better and better, and we're on a good trajectory. And we, you know, just echo what Dan said. Yeah. Right. Ditto. Anyway, enough soppy bollocks. Time to start editing the Rock right. Watcher video again. It is. Bye bye, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.